Hello, hello everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's everybody doing today on the YouTube streets, y'all? Y'all, as y'all can see, I'm not very happy with some things. You know, I've chose to leave people alone, but I guess people don't know how to leave me alone. And so, yeah. But I'm going to say hello to everybody first, okay? Hello, Innocence Until Proven Guilty, and Miss Chewy, and Zigzag, Hillbilly29, and Aunt Audrea Presley, and Robin, and Miss Chewy, and Diamond Creations, and God's Girl, and Courtney. And let's see what else we got. Elmer Bushwad Fudd, and Zigzag. And let's see who else we got. Wise old lady. Hello, 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 Fonda Cheese Man and beautiful Chandra. Um, and let's see what else we got in here. Uh, Strawberry Monkey and Cool Gamer and Brown Bear Jamery and Violet and Susan, Cricket Arrow and Angel and Lynetta and Don Spicy Slurs. <laughs> what? Gator Pooh, Believe, Lynetta, Diamond Creations, Audrey D, Lucky Charms, Rogue House, um, Wise Old Lady, Lucky Girl, Juju, Sky Watching, Sharon Love, D7, Sassy GGs, Wildfire, Linda Lou Who, <laughs> Flip flop, Tammy, Snug Bug, <laughs> Pink Butterfly, Lucky Charms, Denise, um, Susan Lloyd, Rocket Girl, Clover Stitcher, Seven Up, Lady Seven Up. Welcome, 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 welcome. As y'all can see, this is another prayer garden video and justice for all. And I guess now Josh, he's on the hate train. You know, I've sit back and, and, and let these people do their thing on their channel. I've not said one word, even though I don't get along with them. I've not said one word to them. Hey, Zima! And, uh, hang on. Let me put this down. There we go. That's better. On my back. You know, I've been on my blood pressure medicine, so I've been trying to stay off the YouTube streets. But, yeah, rest in peace, Tina Turner. Hey, fishing with Bryant and Diana Parker, and Sherry's in the in the thing. Hey, Kate, you, how are you? Well, I want to show y'all a picture of Satan itself. Y'all want to see a picture of Satan? Her, her Man, and Justin forget Paul. her. Forget them people. They they ain't worth shit. I know. And just I'm just with his I locked ass. the door back, Mama, so I can get in the house. Tell Logan to unlock it. I'm in here on a live. Uh, yeah. Oh, justice for all of our running his mouth. Didn't his uh oh mom ICU tried to befriend you? Yeah, forget her. 
get them all. That's what I'm saying, too. Yeah. Hey, you know my saying, F them all, big and small. F them all, big and small. I'm going to get your shirt made like that, Can Can. <laughs> You know I love you, Daisy. I love you too, Candace. I'm mad as hell. Man, I just had me some really delicious <laughs> spaghetti. That oh, shit was on it. I am jealous as hell. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> I had to tell you. Oh, no, it's okay. You I'm to some spaghetti that was great. It was wonderful. Oh, my I God. It was really you and Daisy just like that spaghetti. I oh, love I'm spaghetti. Yes, ma'am. I love it. I do. Too. I love lasagna, spaghetti, pizza. Yeah, you name it like that. I love it. Mhm. Mm Me too. I like anything Italian like that. It's good. <laughs> oh, good, good, yum, yum in your tum tum. Mhm. Mm. I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, let me show you the latest. Let me show you the latest picture of Prayer Garden. Tell me if this is beautiful or not. She says she's beautiful, but does that look beautiful yeah. to you? Hey, Robin. Don't make me puke. That's her right there in her mirror. You're going to make me puke, Daisy, and I just ate. I'm oh. sorry. <laughs> you don't want to puke up that spaghetti? <laughs> no, please don't make me. Oh, let me tell you. I, I hate to get started on these people. But they better leave me the hell alone. What the fuck is, what the F is she doing to you now? Uh, uh, well, let's play. You want me to play it? Go ahead. I'll listen to it. The old bitch. Dinky's got on her and fight with him last night. With the old bitch last night. And look, she's got your your baby's name on all of her. Hello, P. She's got so much room, but all she does is sit in. Oh, uh, hot. So I'm doing better. Are you doing better? You Are you doing better, Jim? No, his back ain't. Oh. I hope it gets he can't better. can't walk. Uh, he just needs to take him a good rest and rest it out for now. Well, right now we're going to listen up. PG hate bitch. Uh-huh. She's not on right now, but this is last not night. Not right now. Last no, night, baby. Last night. Did you beat me to my friend? Jinkies is on here with Josh, Justice for All, Lisa J, and everything. So this is her. I'm this is first. Listen, Jinkies, would you like Candace? Would Would you like Candace watch your child? Would you let her watch your child? My son's not ever in the. I don't the, let nobody watch him. Let nobody watch him. He don't even let his dad watch him. But anyway, well, um, when, like when I don't let anybody watch my child. I don't even let my ex mother in law watch my child. My so child is talking to no. everybody. The answer's no. <laughs> I don't let nobody watch. Let's go, boy. On Wales. No. no, I don't. Oh. Do you know? Do you nobody know? does. Evelyn. Do you support you him up on your panel? Do you support John and Candace well? Hey, you if he wants to come, if he wants to answer the hard questions for summer, What's if he different? wants to answer the hard questions for summer, yes, he can come on this panel. Okay, he can come on the panel if he wants to answer the hard <laughs> questions for summer. But do we support him? No. Are you taking up a four thousand three hundred dollar collection for him? If I have what that about taking up a four thousand dollar collection? Whoa, whoa! I didn't we're, hear that part. What the hell is that? Is she trying to say we're taking up money? Yeah, she said I was trying to take up a four thousand dollar collection. See how that old bitch lies? You're kidding Fast me. Fast forward through that big day and go on to the, where they kicked me off the panel. Okay, you told Lisa J, didn't you? I did tell Lisa J. Hang on. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, Candace told you, Candace told you the story, YouTube. right? Candace told you the story. Did Candace tell you how? Did Candace tell you? She's talking. She's screaming still. It's not for YouTube's business. Dang, it's TBI and FBI's business. It's not your business. Good morning. Matt, you're blowing mad clouds over there, G. They don't mind your business. Listen. Listen. Uh-oh. She's going to come up here. She's going to come up here and start screaming at Lisa. Because I'm going to tell you what. Uh -oh. Candace did Lisa no damn favors. And neither did Don Wells. I'm going to tell you right now. 
what was going on in Arkansas, the same thing that was going on in Utah, right? Mary said Don was there trying to sell his own kids in Utah. Okay, so Lisa was in Arkansas. They were going. Lisa's full of shit, too. Poop soup. <laughs> Are you a low-income American on food stamps or Medicaid? If yeah. so, you are now... What's going on in this case is funny at all. You know, it's really not. You but you know, if we don't... If we don't... Know, kind of funny. It was. If we don't, if we don't, see, you know, if we don't see the humor or, or you know, create Josh. a little humor around all of this, I don't think any of us can bear what's really That's going on. Josh. You know, I, I really don't. And because this is, this is a horrific case, right? It's like the boys and Don said... Oh, Lord, I can't handle Pam information wait let's show let's show you here where she's making fun of me first hang on what's this i'm um, for summer and and the whales act wants to act like law enforcement is doing her. nothing law enforcement is doing hang on, what's this? righteous mind is going to be doing this nobody i'm going to tell you put it this way i'm going to put it this way there is no hang on i want to show you where she makes fun of christine's laugh like an evil look Looking like the bombs they are. <laughs> There's me. There's that. Uneducated. And this is not an I want to. <laughs> Boy, I think somebody needs to pay my bills. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I'm going to give you a sad story. I could sing you a sad song if you like. <laughs> Instead of put money in Candace's cash out, I I'll sing you a sad, a sad song. Right? It makes me sick. He did stand his ground. And God bless him. Right? God Just wasn't going to like that. He was going to take it. He was telling the truth. And it is time for the truth to come out. The truth is. Not. She doesn't know the truth. You'll never know. Who's the truth. that picture of? That was me, you, Don. It was every fucking body except Don. It was. There's me <laughs> on the side. There's you. There's Don, and there's Evelyn as the purple dinosaur. <laughs> that old bitch. Oh my word! But listen, she starts off starting on me. The old bitch did. Hang on, let me see. Wait. She's saying something here. This is where she talks about All Christine. Right, well, anyways. She mocks Christine. The old bitch does. Makes fun of Christine. I want to show everybody right quick what she says about Christine. This shows how mental she is. This this is a mental person. Here we go. Jabbering off down in the corner, right? Down in the corner. Wait a minute. Let's hear this person how they jabber. Interested to see now, Candace, tomorrow when we, when we talk. <laughs> if the lady called you back. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, something wrong here. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go back here do some more. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening to that. What the hell is she? She's mental as hell. <laughs> All right. <laughs> if the lady called you back. <laughs> Come on. When we talk. <laughs> <laughs> if the lady called you back, <laughs> that's mental. And she's got Summer's name attached to that. That's mental as hell. Come back up, Candace. I took it down. <laughs> I know it gets on Candace's nerves, but I can't help it. I just want to show people how freaking nuts that woman is. She's freaking nuts. And oh, Justin's got his nose straight up her ass over there. That's what he's got. Mm. Mm -hmm. He can't lay off Molly Go Lightly no more, so he's got to put his nose up Per Garden's butt. And Josh. And Josh's ass, too. Hey, man, what was bro. Josh in last night? Because usually, come back up, Can Can. Uh, usually, Josh is not bad and he doesn't say anything. I didn't listen. What was he saying, Big Mama? Big Mama, are you there? I don't know where she is. Yeah, I can't handle Pam. I can't. Not to be mean, but I cannot handle Pam, y'all. Neither one of them. I'm sorry, you Alex. I can't help it. I got to call it out where it is. What are you doing, Don Don? Not much. How y'all? All right. Are you feeling any better? My back ain't. Uh, I hate that too. Well, That's a lot of pain. Did, did you get any kind of relief or anything with it? A little bit. As long as I sit just right, I'm okay. Well, good. Well, it's better than what you was. You couldn't even sit down, get up or anything when I talked to you before. 
I see so I must be a little bit better. Yeah. I'm just going on a rant about prayer card. <laughs> I'm going off yeah. on her. She won't yeah. leave me alone for nothing, Don. I try really hard and she just Yeah, some keeps... people you just can't get through and there's nothing you can do about it. Um they'll never stop. You know. I don't know. It's just like them, they want to attack and just make up random stuff. Just like Don uh, B said, oh, I've had a conversation with the FBI. No, you uh, ain't. No, you ain't. Ain't no FBI going to talk to you, Don B. Come on. That's like, that's like Doug Um. He's on his channel right now. I went on there mm -hmm. at, at minute 16. And it's like he's just way, way over analyzing everything. It's like, it's, it's just crazy. He's making the shit up for content, Don. That's what he's right, doing. Exactly. He's not. He's taking and making it and twisting it and turning it around just so he can get content. He don't want to so, know. He's so over analyzing everything that he can't can't seem, seem to make no sense out of anything, and it's just driving him crazy. He's literally on all day long, Don. All yep. day long. Yep. He's making random shit up. Thank you, Yanni. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. God bless you. Um, oh, my God. JS for All has got some information on Don. You need to go here. No, Justice for All don't have nothing on Don. He's made that shit up. Just like he makes a lot of stuff up. He's a Molly Go Lighter follower. That's what he is. He's, he tails on her end of her ass, and now she's gone. She don't have He don't have nobody else to tail on to. Sorry, I get mad. I have to tell it, Don. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. I mean, Don's I don't been know. up front and honest with every one of y'all out here. He's told everything. There's, I mean, he he's been up front and honest from the beginning. He, yes, he's a person that's really truly deceitful. They're not going to get on YouTube and talk about anything. They just ain't doing it. You know? I know, I know Candace and her mother and I have been completely honest all the way through and through. That's yeah. all, you know, and the rest of them over analyzing every little detail. That that's a telltale sign of something to me. It's a telltale sign that they're out of content and they're making shit up. Just that so or that or meth. Well, that meth could be too. Well, There's a lot of them. Both. Yeah, yeah. It is. yeah, I mean, you know him better than I do. I don't know Doug myself. I don't know him. I don't know if I I'm know sometimes him. he seems to be all right. I don't know, but I don't, I don't know. I've been around too many that I've hired and stuff, or and how the way people act when they get on that stuff. And then one of the, you know, they're over analytical about every over analyze every little thing and just they go crazy. They can't, they can't come up with any. I don't know anything. They just, you know, I don't know. They it's just crazy. make it up randomly out of their their uh, asses. Like know. today, Don, they said that that car was like you was being shot at last night. No, or, I wasn't being shot at. Guns were um, pulled on you. Know. Someone pulled their gun on my um, son-in-law. Okay, uh, oh. Well, and, that's um, not good. And then they done Don another. They done a drug bust or something here this morning. They was here till like noon. I don't know what was that. That was about called four people off to jail. Wow. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure. Every time you get on a fucking line, it cuts me off. It cut, is she getting cut off? Her? Yeah, she got cut off. Her phone, I think, smashed internet. up. No, All every the time. time you plug in your Bluetooth. Oh, okay. Since I'm plugged in, get on, I get cut off. I'm stealing all her internet. I told her. Uh -huh. I, was, I told her I'm gonna steal your link. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, but I wish I could give her. I wish I could help her get on because I like her both of y'all up here. Well, let's try to get on again. No, I'm not. I already tried three times. Uh, Let me drop a link real quick for her if she can. She can talk on my phone for a minute. Here. No. Here. Here. Hey, King Ken. Here. No. Oh, she's mad. Aww. Oh, thank 
you, Crooked Arrow. Thank you, thank you for that super sticker. Thank you, Auntie Sherry. Thank you, thank you for that. God bless you. There's Christine. Thank you, Auntie Sherry. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, hey. Yeah. Hey, y'all hey, put Don's link out too. You got? Have you got a thousand yet, Don? On your um, I, how many subscribers do I have, Candace? Thank you, you Auntie. Hey, Don. Yeah. Can you hear me? Uh huh. Do you want to address um, Doug for these lies that he's spreading? Because I, I mean, Daisy's been, you know, addressing it, and they're saying that we're putting words in your mouth. So if you right. want to address what he said about, you know, you admitting about Bella and Summer. Do you huh. want to address that? Yeah, I never. Wow, that's all I can say is that. Eight hundred seventy-three. No, why would I sell? Eight hundred seventy-three. I heard you. Yeah, that's um, absolutely absurd. I figured they they would like to hear it from you and not me yeah. because we've been you know Bob yeah. and Stephen and yeah. thought, well you know what let you say it then because. There's tons of the They're not believing us. I wouldn't take all the money in the world for my daughter. I wouldn't That's take right. anything. I wouldn't. I'd give my life for my daughter. I know that, Dom. I know you and Candace both would. Absolutely. You can go back. Are you to he's saying that? I don't know. There's all kinds of creepos out there to say all kinds of stuff, you know, and. Doug sitting there overanalyzing every little word like he's on damn meth or something. I don't. That's the only thing I can think. Or he's a nutcase. I don't know which or both. Maybe both. A lot of them. And then are. you got all the nutcases believing every word he says. Like, well, I'm, he's obsessed. He he's on there all day, every single day, just making up random shit all yeah, the time because he can't just get a real like, job. Or refuses uh, to get he refuses to get a real job. Well, no, yeah, he's making the bang off of uh, your daughter's name and bringing y'all down and making y'all look bad, you know. Right. He don't know so, what else. He don't know how to, else to be. Right. Okay, Ken. Ken, let me put the link up for you, baby. Now, uh, John. Yeah. Can you tell? Can you tell everybody that um, you know that? Story you told Dave, me and Daisy about when you were in California, or that before? Well, Doug blasted it. You know, I had a few drinks or whatever, and I just I thought I was talking to Doug, Doug confidentially, but I should have known he was recording me. My dumb fall. But I mean, so he blasted the whole story or the phone call, you know, on, on YouTube. But so it's out there. Well, I just figured uh, you'd like to, you know, have a chance to. You know, explain it, and not just have Doug explain it, but you're actually right. explaining it, so it makes. Well, sense. I mean, you know, I, yeah, I can, I'll take a shot at it. You know, I'll, uh, okay. it's just something that happened. You know, California, Stockton, California, is a major drug hub. There's, you know, you got uh, a shipping channel that comes right into downtown Stockton area. All kinds of boats come in there. Um, you know, it's crazy there. You end up in the wrong street down there. They'll bust your window out and drag you out of the car, take everything you have, and uh, it's bad there. When you see a bunch of guys jump out in front of your car, you hit the gas. You don't hit the brakes. Oh, my goodness. That's yeah. scary. Well, yeah, it's a major drug dealing area. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I didn't really want to bring the story out. I wanted I wanted to, people to be aware of these things, exactly. you know, that happen in our country. But everybody seems to want to sweep these things under the rug and not talk about it. So, Can, you know, be, because and I don't blame them because when somebody talks about it, you know, they they get uh, blasted or whatever. And, uh, can, I, can, I, can I have a, a person that was a victim of human trafficking? Come up here and talk to you about this. Yes, that would be awesome. Yanni, come up here because people don't believe that that stuff happens. And Yanni was sold at two years old. She's wow. my mom. And she woke up between two men and at the age of two years old. Right. And she was. And it, it is a, it, it's very true, you guys. 
it, it, that happens all across our work, all across our country. It happens every day. I'm not saying Don and Candace had anything to do with it, but I'm no way. I don't believe that Don and Candace would do that to their baby. Not at all. But I do. Right. I understand where Don's coming from, though, because it happens. That phone call. Well, that phone call about. with Doug and Don. I mean, Don was trying to just bring awareness. He wasn't saying right. Right. And, Absolutely. You know, and for people to twist it and you know say you know make it something that it wasn't, you know that's not right. So I mean, I think it's only no, fair it's right. that if they're going to twist your words, Don, then you should have a chance to untwist them. Right. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, when we talked to you about it, you were so distraught. I had to pay, pray for you because you was it was worrying you to death that night. I felt so bad for you, Don, yeah. because it was tormenting your mind. And I know those things go well, through since, your mind. Well, since summer's come up, Miss, and I, I think about that incident even more, you know, and come to a lot of conclusions after so long, you know, been able to think about it a lot more. At the time when it all happened, it was, I just kind of blew it off, you know, like, but, you know, as time went on, you know, you think about these things and you're able to put things together as time go on. And you were yeah. pretty young, though, too, weren't you? Yeah, I was, I was pretty young, yeah. Um, I'm wanting to think, I don't know, it might have been 87, 88, I don't know. It could have been up to 90, 1990, I can't remember, a long time ago. You would have been but like, Yeah, that, uh, that motel my mother used to run. You know, she kicked all the drug dealers out of there and it emptied the motel. Nobody wanted to be there. So, see, they actually had to allow a few drug dealers in there and stuff and hire security to bring the motel up to 100%. But, man, there was all kinds of stuff going on still that goes on with drug activity, and she had to get out of there. She had to leave and get out of there. She never wanted to run a, a motel in Stockton, California ever again. Absolutely. But, uh, um, um, How we long got... did you run that hotel, Don? What's that? How long did she run it? I think for, I don't know, I'm not sure how long. I mean, she run, she used to run hotels and stuff like that all over the country, and then she got offered that position in Stockton, California, which she thought would have been a good thing, but it turned into a living nightmare. I mean, you know. Sounds like uh, it. Um, yeah. Don, we got Yanni up here. She's my mod, right. and she's okay. the one that was a victim of human trafficking. Yanni, right. yeah. hey, hey, you want to talk to so, Yanni? So, Don, your mother ran a hotel, so that would have been like teenagers and stuff that they were trafficking from the hotel, right? Oh, no, it was just drugs, a lot of drugs. I'm having a hard time here because usually the traffickers that use hotels are usually like prostituting like teenagers oh, yeah. and up. No, right. it was a different place. It was children Yanni. involved in that. That's all. So it was just drugs that she dealt with, right? Well, yeah, just drugs. I mean, she had to allow, enough, yeah, know? she had to allow a few drug dealers in, in the hotel to bring it back up to 100% or you know, but shortly after that, she left left Stockton. It was it was just full of drugs, and you had to cooperate with a with a the drug thing, or the hotel would have went bankrupt. I mean, quite frankly. I mean, hey, Don, can you so tell them? Protection when it comes to drug dealers, if you don't have that protection, you'll be robbed and stuff. In California, it's terrible like that. It is. Don Absolutely. was very young when this happened, Yanni. Don was very young when this happened, and he said, uh, can you tell him about the experience with the young kids, Don? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah I, was, I, was, I was doing cocaine back then. They, in California, you know, Southern California, they had, you could get good deals on cocaine cheaply, you know, very potent cocaine, I might my add. But, you know, I've seen that that young girl there, I figured she was probably about 14 years old, but she was dressed up, you know, in a short skirt, um, dressed up, makeup, everything, you know, like a, 
young prostitute, maybe you could say. And uh, so I asked her, I was like, what are you doing out here? Do you have, do you have no, any idea where you're at? And she's, I don't know. I don't remember what she said. And I says, well, can I take you home to your house? And she says, well, yeah, fine. You know, and she jumped in the truck and she directed me to her house. I took her there and I said, oh, well, I don't remember what I said, can I come in or what? But I, I went in to the house and there was an older black woman there. I estimate to be about 75 years old, maybe 70. I don't know. But she was sitting at the table smoking cocaine. And the kids there were also smoking cocaine. Um, there was a, like I said, you know, like a, maybe an eight-year-old boy, uh, maybe a 10, 11-year-old boy, and then this girl, which were, we were they were all smoking cocaine. And I sat for a minute and talked, and then I, I felt kind of uneasy or whatever, and I left there. And... And I never seen them again after that. But, you know, I, through the years, I've thought about that often, especially since summer's come up missing. But oh. th there's no way them kids were hers. Oh. There's no way. And they were, all hooked, that that they were all hooked. Because you looking at them that they don't belong to that family. Right. And that so wasn't a family. It was abducted. So they probably were abducted when they were really young. That's what I keep thinking. That's what I keep thinking. Is That's what I, yeah, that's exactly got them hooked on cocaine. And they were being controlled by cocaine. Yeah. Like for us, for me, when I first got sent out, I was really badly drugged, so they sedated us a lot. And every time I went, they sedated us. And the first time, I was almost three years old. I was only two. And I started to come to, and I looked, and there was two men beside me, okay? Now, I'm yeah. a little kid, like a baby. So yeah. I'm seeing these men kissing each other and all of that stuff. So that was really, like, confusing for me. And I was, like, waking up and then falling back asleep again. And I could not – I knew what was going on, but I couldn't even move. Like, I couldn't even lift my arm up. I was so sedated. Wow. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I, I always went in a truck full of other kids too. So, um from three up, from two, well, two, I was two because I wasn't three yet. They would take about 10 or 12 of us to these houses about three times a week. And um, these, like, like really rich, these were mansions. These were really wealthy, rich men. Mm. And... Um, they, you know, they'd all go to different rooms and you'd hear the other kids screaming and it was so traumatic. And I went 11 years like that, three and four times a week. So wow. I saw a lot of stuff. Um, I didn't even see the satanic stuff till I was five. And then they started to take us to the, temp the satanic churches and stuff. But before that, I was just sedated but then the drugs seemed to wear off because I'd been on drugs the whole time so my tolerance to the drugs started to build and I was more awake from about five onwards I was more awake and I could I knew everything that was going on I could hear them screaming and these people were really well connected like there was these, the kids that were with me were kids that were, had no birth certificates. They didn't exist. Right. Yeah. Wow. So there was breeders in there. There was women having babies for them and they'd pay them, take the baby and the, they'd leave. I mean, I saw a lot. Um, when I first saw Summer, because I lived in Tennessee, um, that's I looked at her face and it just pulled me in. And I started feeling like, you know, that I don't like saying it because it's hard to say that. But um, yeah, I was always worried that this is what her fate was. Yeah, same here. 
Oh, and I hate, I hate saying that to you, Don. Believe oh, me, no. that's really this, hard. This, this crosses my mind a lot, and that's why I wanted to bring it to the yeah. public, but not to, to blast it the way that Doug has, you know. But I appreciate you guys listening. And, uh, but yeah, but five years old is a. T yeah. It's see, from what I remember, five years old is the big turning point. So mm. her age is like at the prime age where they can get the most money. Wow. Um, so at five, they start taking the they start taking you more, and there's more of a market for five and onwards. And then wow. under 10 and at uh, five, five to 10, it's very, very big market for that, that age group. Wow. Um, and this so, happened here in America yeah. to you? No, I'm, was the, I, I got stolen from America. My parents are both Native American, so they were on drugs really bad. Right. I was born addicted to drugs, so the social welfare people took me away from my parents, and they they practically adopted me out illegally. So they flew me to Australia, and in Australia, okay. it's so bad. Trafficking wow. is huge over here. Wow. Um, they, I had the really long black hair and, you know, all of that. So I was very popular amongst these creepy old men. Wow. Um, they put makeup on us. We were five years old. They dress us up. And we were kept really grubby until we were going out. And then they would dress us up. And they'd make us look like little dolls. Like, right. Yeah. That's, like that's, how, just, that, that's how that yeah. girl was fixed up. Yeah, fourteen-year-old girl, and I think the yeah. boys were kind of fixed up too. I guess you could say. I, I don't know. The boys but... were definitely involved. On they, they, yeah. I've seen as many boys as I've seen girls. The wow. boys, you know, the the problem is the boys are the thing that's never left my mind. I I cry every day about the boys yeah. because I have three children and three of my boys. I've got three boys and one girl. Yeah. So it's really personal to me, yeah. and I always wow. think of those boys screaming. If their screams were something that I can never walk away from, I I still hear that in the middle of the night. I still wake up, I hear that, and I wake up screaming still. Wow! Because so of sorry. the boys, the boys seem to have been a lot more tortured. And I'm not taking that away from the girls and saying they weren't tortured. They absolutely right. were. But the yeah. boys, it seemed like they they really struggled. Like it was something. And I, you know, at that age, you don't understand what's really going on. All you know is they're being hurt. Yeah. So you don't know till later, in hindsight, what was going on. So I'm thinking that feeding them up and you know I'm not actually thinking SA I'm thinking a whole different thing but now I know now why they were screaming so loud you know and they were being raped I assume mm -hmm. yeah. yeah wow and boys were very popular amongst the elites they really loved the boys wow. for some reason yeah they wow. um they, they had they a lot of the time there was more boys than girls that went with me, and they take us in these vans and you'd get you'd be so off your face on drugs that you'd just be like half conscious, <coughs> and then you would arrive at the place and you'd just you'd just be in different rooms with different people. And then I guess they went back to their family life the next day because it usually was a family home that we were in. And they were Freemasons. You, you heard of Freemasons? Yeah. Yeah. See, I didn't know what that was either until I escaped and the police got me to draw and I drew that symbol. Yeah, and they said wow. to me, where did you see that symbol? I said, on the rings and on the pin on their shirt. I said that's what they had on. So, 
And it's yeah. the rich people too. It's not poor people that does it. It's the rich that buy these oh, kids. Oh, this is a rich, rich millionaires, like rich, wealthy people. There was no poor people doing any of this. This was a very high market. Explain. Well, it seems it, it seems like whoever took summer must have been very professional because they undoubtedly didn't have a cell phone with them that pinged because they've checked every single cell phone that pinged that was ever in that area. So we yeah. we know pretty sure he didn't have a cell phone on him. He didn't leave a oh, trace no, of evidence. Not, they're too smart for that. They right. They, yeah, yeah, they're really, really right. smart on it, and, uh, yeah. and they don't leave traces. They don't. You know, I oh. always thought that Candace was being watched for a few days, right. maybe a week or so. Right. Yeah. And I think they – see, this is how they do it if they're going to take a kid. They will wait and watch and watch and then wait for that opportunity. Yeah. Candace went over to do her – her mum's knee and they said yeah. right let's do it now and that's what happened yeah, yeah i think and so too they're very smart and they don't they it do seems, not leave it anything yeah behind. yeah they seems don't. very professional and it Absolutely. seems like and it seems like you know to the average person that me and candace are guilty they've done such a professional job of getting her out of there that it does yeah. make us look guilty because there's no evidence well Never uh, to I me. I always thought someone was watching. I did for a moment blame you guys for a moment, and then I. Well, can I show yeah. tell you something for just a second? Yeah. There was a little girl, um, the one that they they found in the restaurant with the man. Um, mm -hmm. she was, um, uh, she was stolen, and one of her family members was accused of taking her. And he even didn't even pass a, a lie detector test. He failed a lie detector test, and come to find out, it wasn't him. And they and they found this little girl. She was with her perpetrator in a restaurant, and someone noticed it. And it was a complete stranger who had been stalking her and her whole family. Yeah. He, he had actually yeah. went in and murdered her whole family. And That's, and um, I think someone was stalking Candace yeah. every day for a while yeah, because they're sense. not sloppy. They're not sloppy. They don't make mistakes. They yeah, will right. not gotcha. make. So they, what they'll do is they'll they'll plan it. And look, I I I'm sorry, Don. I have to say this because I'm trying to be truthful. Right. Yeah, Summer's look is very popular. Right. And we, had her, and, 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 we, and we had her on TikTok, and from what I understand, they, there's ways of tracking these things down. I don't know, but yeah, yeah. definitely. She is very... I, don't, I just, uh, what I truly believe happens, because I've, I, I know from other survivors that I've spoken to that did get away like me, and they tell yeah. me things. And right. a few of them were like Summer. They were taken from their family home. Right. And um, they were never seen again. And they got out when they were like 18 or 19. I got away when I was 14 and I, I uh, got away for good. But you, some you of them able to... don't get away till they're 20 and 19. And then they get sold to the, the uh, you know, the hotel prostitution ring type traffickers. Yanni, can you tell him how you got away? I was well, going to ask she, that. Yeah, well, see, see, she adopted me, but she adopted, we found out later on that she adopted a hell of a lot of children from all over the world. But she wanted me to be a slave as well. So she would make me do things and clean her house and scrub on my hands and knees. And I just started to notice that she wasn't always watching me. So... I, I, for about 12 months, I started to, like, watch everything she was doing and I started to run away. So at first I got away and I only ran to the local park. I I was so scared because I'm a kid and I don't know what I'm going to do or where I'm oh. going, you know. So I'm a little kid and then the police brought me back. Oh so the police, I tried this about three or four times and then finally I'd met somebody that took me to this red light district where there's a lot of homeless children 
and they she stopped looking for me and it took about three or four times and then she stopped looking for me. I was getting too old anyway for her. You know, mm. I was 14, so she didn't really look oh. for me. When the police come looking for me, it's because my adoptive dad is in jail. He's a life uh, criminal. He's killed people and stuff. I'm not proud of it, but I might as well just tell the truth. My dad was a, my adoptive dad was a hitman. He robbed banks, whatever. You know, that's not my fault. That's just what no. he did. And I wrote a letter to my dad in jail saying, telling him everything that was going on since he'd been in jail and that I was being, you know, essayed, everything I told him. As much as I could tell him that I would think that they would give him that letter. And he went straight to the head of the jail and said, someone's got to get my daughter, she's 14, in King's Cross. King's Cross is the red light district of Sydney, Australia, and that's where I was. So the police were looking for me for a long time. I'd see them and I'd run. And then once they had me cornered, and I, I, I was kicking them and spitting at them. I was cussing them out because I thought they were going to take me back there. Yeah. But Can what you- they wanted to do was question me about what was going on, you know, everything. And I managed to find the house that I was kept in. And when they raided that house, they got seven more houses. And the, the court case went for three years. That's how many people were involved. So I was in police protection until I was 18 years old. Tell them how many children you saved. I think about 137. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Good for Um, you. I just never, but, you know, the thing is, and Daisy knows I always cry when I think of this. I I don't feel like I did enough. Like, I never, people always say to me, like, you saved all those kids, but I know that there's more, and that really weighs on my head every day. You know what I mean? Like, I can never feel like I did enough because it's still happening, and that, you know, that is something that I've got that weight on me always, you know, because I know there's more, and I know that, it's not your fault. I know, but it's just like I can't, I just can't, I just can't not think of it. I can't. It's just like every day I think of it. And, this is a um, sick world, sick world we live in. It's so but, sick. But can you and, tell them the good news that you was reunited back in the United States with your yeah. family? Yeah, and um, finally at 18 I'd had enough of the police and I just said, look, I need to... I need to have a life. I can't stay in police protection forever. The court case was over. The people were in jail and I just wanted to live my life and I wanted to reunite with my family. Um, I'd always remembered the plane ride and me being really scared on that plane, like being really scared. And um, I needed to reunite with my people like I, I knew that I was a native because I was with my grandmother for a little while and she taught me some words of my language and I kept those words in my heart and in my memory and at 18 I flew and met my real dad for the first time. Um, my mum was already dead. She died when I was about seven so I didn't get to meet my mum but I met my dad and I spent every like every moment I could with him and he died about eight nine years ago so at least I got to be around my real dad he was he never gave up on me he was like you Don he never yeah. gave up he knew that one day I would come yeah. back he said he knew that he knew it so yeah. just always keep that in your heart that oh, thank you so much I really appreciate you sharing this Yeah, so I got to see my dad and I ran off the plane and I just jumped on him and it was just, um, 
you know, it was it was a big moment. My dad was a really bad alcoholic, and he stayed an alcoholic. I, he, I couldn't make him stop. Um, if he stopped, he probably would have ended up dead quicker. So I had to accept the fact that my dad was an alcoholic, and um, you know, he wasn't. He was a good. He wasn't a bad alcoholic. Like he wasn't aggressive ever to me or anything. He was just one of those really happy drunk people. Um, but he did die from alcohol. Like that, it ended up killing him. Yanni, can you give Don some tips on what to do to, to look to try to see that maybe they could find Summer if she is has been done like that? Um, I mean, I don't, I, I don't I really I'm, know how you would look, but I'm telling you, Don, don't give up because no, my dad met well, me for the first time when I was well, 18. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for bringing awareness of these things because People just want to sweep this stuff under the under the rug like it doesn't happen. They so, do. Right, yeah. I'm getting attacked right now in the chat by some people because of it. But I, but I think Don needs to know about how it works and what they do, so he can have yeah. a better understanding. Yeah. We all need to know. We all need to be watching yeah. out for this kind of stuff. It's very it's important the, for you to tell your story. So thank you. Yeah, yeah I just thank want you. you to realize that. It doesn't mean that she's gone. She could right. definitely be still out there. Absolutely. I know it's, and that hurts me a lot to think yeah. that she could be out there because I wouldn't want that life for anybody. Like right. I just, I wouldn't. But you really do know, need to know that you can find happiness after all that abuse because I have beautiful children i have a loving husband i have a good life but yeah you know it, all of that did not kill me it didn't take me away from who i am and who i was meant to be later on oh, so well, good for you that's awesome and i just want you to always hold on to that hope that she can be okay she can if she's found you can just love her extra than you've ever loved her before because she'll need that if you find if absolutely if you, read, you know what I mean. You're absolutely. gonna have to. She's gonna need she's, help. She's gonna need you know. And yeah. I'm just saying, if she met the same fate as me, I'm just saying. Right. If she's out right. there, make sure that God's gonna bring her home. There's too That's many right. prayers out there for her. Not and come back to home. me, as the, the it's two years. It, it just seems to me there's no trace of her, and yeah. it, it makes me think more and more that it could yeah. be, yeah. yeah I agree. And maybe she'll run away. Maybe she'll get away, and and she'll find you. And just got just got to love her more. Yeah. And get her help, and you know she can go on and live a happy life. I have, you know. Yeah, for sure. I have nightmares. I'm on a lot of uh, psych meds and everything, Don, because I do have very bad night terrors where I, you know, things yeah. happen, bad things. But yeah, you know, I wake up happy. I have animals. I have a home. I have a loving husband. I have beautiful children. Um. Summer can go on to do that. You know what I mean? Uh, if she's yeah. out there, she can definitely go on and have a normal life. But she'll always have that pain if that's her well, fate. I'd like to bring up something if you don't care. Um, sure. So, so back, at, I can't remember, like 500 BC, 500 and something BC when the Babylonians surrounded Jerusalem. What yeah. they sold, they sold them kids. They traded the boys for whiskey, and they traded the girls for prostitutes. They they pin them yeah. up in cages, you know. But you know, so this stuff's been going on forever throughout history. You know, when they oh, yeah. take over a city and stuff like this, and uh, yeah. um, it must have been horrific for them. You know, them little yeah. kids and stuff. So. It's a, I mean, it is a, a horrific thing to go through. It really is. 
but yeah. you can come out of it and you can find some normalcy in your life. You can. Right. You can go on and you can and it, you don't have to like be miserable or bitter. You know, you can right. find I talk to so many survivors every day, warriors, survivors, and they are such amazing people. And a lot of them didn't get out till they were 18, 20. Well, so, see, the reason why I wanted you to come up here, Yanni, because Don was trying to get out that he thought that there was that those kids were being human trafficked, but Doug took it and twisted it around and made it look um, like Don was saying something against him, and he wasn't. He was just trying to get back to the point where he thought back of that, and he wants people to know that that stuff really does happen, right, Don? Is that yes, yeah, trying to bring awareness to it, but. I messed up I when I talked to Doug. I don't that yeah. man. I don't like him at all. I think he okay. should stay the hell away yeah, from I, I agree with you, and I am going to take your advice. And, and I am, he, I am and working. He is a, he's a bit of a deviant himself, believe right, me, Don. I've right, seen absolutely. Him, so. Yeah. But I am working yeah. on that alcohol problem. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to win that one. I'm not. Oh, so, so you know. did you have alcohol problems as well? Yeah. Yeah, I've had quite a few alcohol problems, but I'm trying to leave it alone. I, I got. It's to. hard because, like it I is. said, my dad was a Native American, and yeah. where he's from in South Dakota, oh, the, oh. the government practically feed them alcohol. It's it's right. a disgusting system that's going it on is. down there. Yeah. And I I tried to get my dad help, and it just never worked. And yeah. I just felt like if I get twenty years with my dad, that at least I've got twenty years with him. You right. know, I didn't try to change him because I knew that he was too far gone. Yeah. I tried. But, I did. I tried, but, it, but I Don, just knew. Don said that he, you know. He's the, and I'm done the same thing. Like the farther, the more I get into this YouTube stuff, like tonight, the farther we get away from God, and we gotta hold back on to that Him. Yeah. Back yeah. on to it. Yeah. See, I gave up on God and all of that stuff, and then I went to Israel and spent a lot of time over there, and I was able to reunite and feel that love again of good good i'm glad to hear that i'm glad yeah, to hear see, that I, I do not believe in god i was like if there's a god why do you let that happen to me yeah. and i realized that the devil is real as well mm, that's the right devil, not god that did that to me right you know? it, so it has to this this plan of god's is it's got to be this way it's it's nothing easy you know, there's a lot of bad stuff happens every day, but it's yeah. a plan. It's a it's it's a foolproof plan, though. It's 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 a good plan, even though it's very hard and very difficult. And I, well, well, think about this: through summer, a lot of kids has brought awareness through her voice, and if we can bring awareness to things like this in her name. That means everything because every child that we save out there is important, you know. But I can yeah. tell you, if she gets away, she is coming for you, guys. She yeah. will come. She will find you because I had to fly out of the country I'm in to be with my dad, you know. And yeah. that was a very emotional, you can imagine, like my dad cried for days. Like he just would keep looking at me and touching me and say, I can't believe you're right here yeah. in front of me. I can't believe wow. you're here, you know. Um, yeah. well, don't ever give up that that could oh, happen. Because it it could. Gives, me, gives me some hope, but man, yeah. I can't imagine. Yeah, wow. Yeah, I know it's hard. Like, if she does get away, she will come. She will find you. So just always know yeah. that even if that you know it's the worst outcome that she is in the same situation as I was in, I got away. So did hundreds and thousands, actually millions of uh, survivors got away. Yeah. So. You know, if, and we're you know, not saying that's what happened to someone. 
When well, I, I'm not saying that. I'm saying if well, that yeah. is what happened, then well, there I, is I, a I, chance I, you'll get yeah. away. There's a good yeah. chance of that being the case. Um, I, would think. I, I hate thinking that, but I actually well, do think I that. Think, I, I think people, you know... Yeah, I, when I'm in a city, I see kids all over the place, and I just shake my head like, "Why?" And there's nobody around them; just they're by themselves. But oh I think God, you know, that was crazy, Don. I used to tie my kids to my arm. Yeah. I used to tie my kids to my arm so they couldn't move anywhere yeah. away from me. Right. I, was a, I wouldn't let them do. I wouldn't let them go into bathrooms, you know, public. Bathrooms, nothing. I was crazy. Yeah. I walked my kids to school. And I think home. Mom would do that too if Summer and them, Summer was to come back home. You'd do I the know. same. I mean, thing. I walked oh, my yeah. kids at 15 oh, yeah. to school and picked them up. I was terrified of anything going wrong. You know, yeah. I was always worried that someone would try to take my. Well, I think I think these abductors. They're not going to try to take kids out of the city because there's too many cameras everywhere. So they're yeah, going they're moving I'm out in to the city. I'm yeah, in the city. Yeah. Yeah. They're looking out in the country for kids and we're far out in the country enough that you know they see an opportunity there, I think. These drug what dealers and like sorry. sorry. No, go ahead. No, well, I, I think said a lot what of these... I didn't like is the police saying that there was no signs of an abduction because yeah. there wouldn't be any signs of an abduction. These people are smart. Yeah, they're, not, exactly. they're not idiots. They're not idiots. They know exactly what they're doing. And that made me mad when the police said that too, because they knew every time, yeah. every time he said that, it brought it just it caused us more problems every single time. Yeah, and we got these. That flash, everybody, if you go back and watch that video, there is a flash in those words. I watched that like 70, a uh, 100 times because uh, that is what is exactly how they do it. They film it. They take photos. There was videotapes of me found 20 years later of me uh, being abused. They filmed me being abused. There was videotapes. Uh, I seen a few of them that I just I can't I've I've actually got copies of them I won't I can't I just won't. Yeah. Um, well, I'm sure and happy you come up and told us your story. I really thank you for that. No, and yeah, that's all right. you know I think you're right that uh, sometimes we we don't do enough. We need to be active in so many ways, and I need to be more active in doing things and, and doing more and staying closer to God for one um, as part of that being active you know yeah so I, I, feel, feel. I feel finding Go God was gave me strength and yes. I, I felt yes. like my life had purpose I did try to kill yeah. myself three times right. um, I went to an intensive care Daisy knows I've showed her pictures I actually did try to be gone and yeah. it wasn't because I, I just was sometimes it gets a lot for me like the the memories it does and I'm past all that now but I yeah. went through a stage where I just didn't want to do deal with it at all um wow. God and finding you know being baptized in Jordan and all of that that made a big difference for me and being where Jesus's tomb was, and all this, the historical places, that reconnected well, me, you know, with everything. Good, that's great. I, I'm trying to get back involved in the Seventh Day Adventist Church. That's where I took yeah. my kids, and I think they got a lot, a huge message for the end time. And that's what I started my channel for. If I can ever get it working, but that's what I want to do with it. With my that's channel. good. That's yeah. good. You'll get it working. You'll get it yeah, working. Yeah, right. But you know well, what, Don? You just gotta not react to all of the hateful things that right. come out about you guys. I mean, just, we all, when we first saw Summer, we all reacted differently, angrily, and then right. now we've simmered and we can see. Yeah. 
a different thing altogether. But it took right. nearly two years for for I always thought someone was watching Candace and did that. Yeah. I, think I, you're right. I did. I uh, I did. I just thought this is just too cleverly done. Yeah. This is just too Don, you know the that, that guy that, that wrote that book on summer? He yeah. wrote he wrote an, he wrote his first book on summer July of twenty twenty one. The ne- uh, a month. People what? insert themselves in the yeah. He's wrote several books on summer without Don and Kane permission. And wow. a month after Summer went missing, this guy wrote a book on Summer. People insert themselves into these cases that do it. Yeah. You know that that little, I was going to show it to you um, at, tonight, you all, I was going to show you the little girl that was kidnapped and chained inside the car that got away. Yeah. Her perpetrator pulled up to her parents' house while she was missing with her in the car chained inside knocked on the door and asked the parents for flyers for her. She's chained up outside in his car and he's knocking on their door asking for flyers. Yeah, they do stuff like that. The guy that kept up the baby. Mm-hmm. But also he would have been having a feel around to see where the parents were in as far as her being abducted. So they oh, want to yeah. see, yeah, they look and they want to see what, what the parents are doing, you know. Right. And it's sickening. I mean, so sickening. Gross. Yeah, I was actually going to show a little video on that tonight. I think her name was Mitzi. What's that? Break- those, that little girl's name was Mitzi, I think. She ended up breaking those chains and running and jumping in a trucker's uh, window to get away. If you survive, yeah. Oh, he was so eight do years you know old. how many people got away and survived? I hear it every day, Daisy. Every day, I speak to people that have run and got away, and they were missing for 12 years, 15 years, and they're, they're back with their family, you know, after all that time. You know, the news covers certain cases, but. There's so many. There's there's over a million of survivors that have run away and got away from these situations. They don't get televised oh, because they only what? pick certain cases. Guess what? The guy that it was an author that did that that wrote it, he's a Freemason. <laughs> wow. He is a Freemason. Yeah. Yeah. He's a tempered uh, night temper. And uh, Masonic Knight Templar, yeah, yeah, he's a he's a so he's, he's OTO, then that means and he, so wrote, he, he wrote a book on this baby one month after she went missing. That's a red I, I flag. I need to see that. I need to see that. That's a red flag. You that is me. a red flag. And why? <coughs> why would he insert himself <coughs> into this? This is that's bizarre. That's what Christine said, too. Christine's been doing some. Work on. I don't trust that at all. <laughs> no, I don't but either. Can't you sue them? Well, I don't know. I guess so. I don't know if Don and Candace right. want to. Right. But... Um, yeah. We got lawyers are looking at every angle. I, I, I'll say that. Right. I'll just say that. <laughs> hey. Well, yeah. What, I just hope talk? that she gets no, away no, and no. she comes home. I just, I do oh, wish right, that baby. for her, and I just don't give up on that. I just just don't, oh, Don. Thank you for Candace, sharing this story. Don, it means please don't yeah. give up and f- think you. that she's gone. Don't. Right. Just keep well, that keep right. that alive, you know. Well, and we all have to have to work on that, you know. Yeah. Uh, our, ch- our church teaches that uh, judgment is happening now before Christ returns. When he gets here, he knows who's going to be raptured and who's going to be left on the earth. And, and you know, and whoever's left on earth will be destroyed till the final because judgment. The mess the world is in. Yeah, so we got to fight, and uh, oh, we need to somebody really focus to on delete that. these messages. What the yeah, hell? Don't, don't don't do yourself like that. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> yes, don't give up. Just, please don't. I, I know it's hard for Candace to hear it because I want to hear it. 
I know, and I and that's that that's why I apologize to even say it, but I mean, but that's what it's, John was it's trying to get reality. Yeah. It's what well, happened yeah, to me and, right. and yes. hundreds and thousands well, yeah. of other people. Yeah, we need you know, to recognize people, that. We need yeah. to come people to terms with that. That, that really goes on. They believe they don't believe that that happens. Right. And yeah. it, oh, it happens. And it still sad. happens. I wish oh. I could do more. I wish I could. Well, oh, just day telling you, more. telling your story like this means a lot to me, and it brings uh, recognition. I, I can't, I'm a lot lost for words right now, but it. Yeah, it I know what you're a, saying, Don. Yeah, but just for me, remember, my dad met me for the first time when I was 18 years old. So. Right. That's just good. remember that you know what I mean like just remember one, that I am not one person there's millions of me right you know? absolutely there's thank millions you so much so we really we really I really appreciate you thank you and uh I yeah I'm glad one day to one day you. you'll one day you'll meet your mother you know um uh, yeah so that's what we got to look I, forward I'm to. a bit angry at her for like making me a drug addict at a baby because I battled with a lot of drug addiction. Yeah. Um, I mean, like you, I was on cocaine. Um, yeah. I went through all sorts of drugs. It took me a long time yeah. because the drugs numbed my mind and that's what yeah. I was looking for. Well, so I had to battle drug addiction, but I was born drug addicted. Wow. Because my Don, mom shot up while I was in her belly. So there you go. Yeah. Wow. Don, yeah. Justice for all is over there saying that you all had RSOs <laughs> living with you. You didn't have no RSOs living with you. No. He's no. making that up. If anything, um, he coddled. He coddled. Um, Justice has a disgusting. lot of disgusting. He sat yeah. over and coddled uh, old Jose. You yeah, know I know. Saying? Right. Yeah. He's such yeah. a. Mm. I don't trust that Jose story from the start. You know how I feel about them people, Daisy. Yeah. I've, I've never talked to those people. I don't follow them. I haven't followed them. Yeah. I will not. They're, there's some and people I'm not, like... I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to anymore. You can't talk. So Don, do so. yourself a favor and stay yeah. away from those. I They're sure exploiting will. you. They're right. exploiting you. They Absolutely. love that they're getting you triggered. They love that they're they're able right. to, you know, uh, right. get money on your back. Basically, and it's funny. It's funny. That's how Satan works. The exact same way. That's yeah, exactly what he's he done. Greedy. In the, he's greedy. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's, that's what happened in the war in heaven, and the war still goes on today, and it won't end till Jesus comes back. It does. You know, the same and thing. Look at the world the way it is. There's war, yep. there's famine, there's yep. floods. There, do you know that my house flooded and I live in the city of Sydney and, and that's the first time ever oh. that. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah. Flooded. My house got flooded. Oh. Wow. So it's pretty bad. I mean, it's a lot of signs are pointing to the end of the the end isn't it well one, one thing to keep in mind though too though that global warming has been happening since the last ice age for like i don't know millions of years thousands, or thousands of years thousands, or whatever yeah. yeah so it's been global warming's been happening <laughs> you know yeah, yeah but the so, euphrates river drying up that is scary. well yeah also yeah. that um that when i was over in israel when i went up up on this mountain and it's called Masada and it was uh -huh. King Herod's temple. Oh Masada. really? You got to see that? Yeah. I know they were I they were over, they were yeah, I've shared pictures and everything oh, Daisy nice. has them. Um, Daisy has so pictures. They were yeah King Herod was building uh uh uh, what do you call it? Housing developments in that area and stuff way back in he Jesus was time. he made a whole uh it was like a whole settlement of people, and they m yeah. moved up onto this mountain to get away from the Romans. Yeah. And um, what happened to them was quite sad because they actually lit fires and lit themselves on fire, and the fire burnt for seven days. It didn't wow. stop. 
Once the Romans started to come near them, they set themselves on fire and apparently it burned non-stop seven days. Wow. I kind of like the story. And the Romans got up there and no one was alive, so they didn't get to take them. That's the story of Mount Masada. It's so hot up there. Oh, it was like 80 degrees up there. It was terrible. And it overlooks the Sea of Galilee, right? It overlooks the Dead Sea, yeah. Yeah. And you can see that the Dead... I've got pictures of it. I'll I'll give them to Daisy so she can show you. And the, of, um, you can see that the Dead Sea is drying up. You can, yeah. from the picture that I took on top of Masada, you can okay. see that that the Dead Sea is drying up. I'd like to see them pictures for sure. Um, I'll give them to Daisy. Yeah. She okay. can show um, you. I like the idea. Of, uh, Matthew, the tax collector, he uh he had a really nice home, pretty nice mansion. You know, he, he invited Jesus and everybody over to eat, you know, dinner, but did you know that he sold that home and followed Jesus and done his work, I guess, till the day he died, as far as I know. But I know he sold that beautiful home he had, and yeah. he gave up all the worldly pleasures and stuff to follow Jesus. And I, I saw I think, some of Jesus's like, tables and chairs that he built because he was a carpenter. Wow. And they have them wow. in the Museum of Jerusalem. They have big bits wow. and pieces of his, like his tools and the, and I got to see the Dead Sea Scrolls, the actual real ones. Wow. Um, that was amazing. That's cool, yeah. But um, I was over there for four months. At, wow. like, I was over there for two months, three months, four months, all the time. So you got to see Jer- Jerusalem and everything? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've got wow. pic- I've just, Daisy's got pictures of me okay. there. Awesome. Um, yeah, um, yeah, Jerusalem was it, you know, but there was Don so many stood. more things. Huh? T- tell, tell Don where you stood at. Oh, my God. Um, so my boss is Jewish, okay? So we went to Jerusalem and we went to the dealer de Rosa, and that's the place where Jesus was whipped and yeah. and uh, his jail wow. cell. And I've got yeah. a picture outside his jail cell as well. So okay, I'm yeah. walking and she takes a photo of me and she's laughing. And I'm like, what are you laughing at? She goes, you were standing on Jesus's blood. And in the picture, when you look down, but you look under my feet, you can see that the ground's different than all the rest of the courtyard. She thought that was really funny, and I'm like, I would not have stood there had I have known that. Wow. Well. Yeah, she thought it was funny, and I've got a I picture think, I, of that. I as think well. it's for. I think it's forgivable. <laughs> I I, I was so upset, like that really played on my mind. Can you imagine? Oh, I I would not have stood there. There's no can way. Can I can I tell you a really interesting story? Did you go to the sure. place of the skull where Jesus was the, crucified? Yes, I did. Okay. Oh, did you the did you old know Mount of Olives? Okay. Ron Wyatt is an archaeologist and he's with a buddy, was walking by the place of the skull. Jesus was hung on a cross way up on top of that little yeah, mountain there. Mount of Olives, okay. Yeah. So Ron Wyatt's walking by there and he lifts his arm up and he goes, That's where the Ark of the Covenant's buried. And his buddy said, What'd you say? And he said, I think I said that's where the Ark of the Covenant's buried. And he, Ron Wyatt tried to get uh, our, uh, what I call it the other day, Daisy, um, um, antiquities. He tried to get antiquities to let him dig there. And they said, no way are you digging there. And so he went Have on. Have you a, seen the latest thing that the, it, they found the Ark of the Covenant? Yes, Ron, that, was, that, was, that was Ron Wyatt that found all that. Yeah. It yeah. was underneath the. Yes. Um, Yes. Oh, the blood of okay. Jesus was dripping onto it. Yes, and he had to, through the ground. Yeah, yeah, I've and he had the he had the blood tested, and it came alive. He only wow. had twenty four chromosomes and one Y chromosome, all belonging wow. to his mother, I didn't except see for the, the one. Rest of it, I'm gonna have yes. to look that up. Yes, very interesting. What was his and name? I, uh, Ron Wyatt. R O N. Wyatt. Yes. Look, look up. up. Look up all his videos. It's it's amazing. But he uh, was able to get antiquities to let him dig when he found some burial pots 
like out in the sea somewhere. And they went yeah. and got all them up. And then after that, Antiquities told him, go ahead and start digging. And he, he dug and dug and dug and found the Ark of the Covenant and something told him to leave. They were all covered with animal skins and sticks and oh. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So he left and went on vacation for a while or just oh went wherever for a while. And when he come back, there was four men inside there behind a locked door. He unlocked the door, went down in there, and there's four men in there. And they said, we're, an we're angels. We're Sorry, angels. We're angels sent by God. We want you to test this blood. And they said, they told Ron Wyatt, they picked up the big, heavy gold thing off the Ark of the Covenant and told him to take out the, the tables of stone. And he, he pulled them out and put them in his arms and they put the table, the, the uh, gold thing back on the Ark of the Covenant. Then they grabbed him out of his arms and put him on the ledge and some, said something to the, like, these things will be displayed before the world when the Mark of the Beast starts happening, you know, and which is yeah. going to start happening here in America. But uh, yes. very, very interesting. That should be front page news everywhere. Um, and I also found out Ron Wyatt was a Seventh Day Adventist about two months ago. I didn't know that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm he found that up because yeah, I seen yes. that they had found it, but apparently you can't touch it. Is that right? Right. Yeah, it's locked in there. There was like six guys, four, six guys. I don't know that went. They broke into it and everything, and they were killed. They they and died they mysteriously. That's right. I saw and they, that. Yeah, nobody would go in there. They called Ron Wyatt and asked him to come and please get the bodies out for them. And he come down and got them out of there for them. And they locked the door back. And I don't think anybody's dared to try to break in there since. Um, I do believe. Apparently, now, even looking at it is you can yeah. uh, get cursed or well, something. Well, see, if you if you go back to the Bible, it. 530 BC, when the Babylonians besieged Jerusalem for all that time, they sit out there and starved them out until they yeah. ran out of food and everything. This is when they believed that they hid all that down in there, filled it full of rock and debris and everything. And it's been in there since like 530 BC. But doesn't it make sense to think that it was buried in the mountain that he was crucified on? Right. Like, I mean, how... Right. <laughs> Can you believe that? I mean, I when know. you think of it, that's um, and apparently his blood was what spilt yes. on. Him. Yeah, because and in there the was Bible, two it says, other people there, yeah. and it was right under him. How, how yeah. can you get that specific? You and know, it makes and it makes sense because Jesus is the ultimate sacrifice. Yeah, 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 yeah. It just shows you that God's in control all the way. Yes, Even though when, when we think that our life's over, or he's in control, you know, even though. You know, whenever you walk into those places, but like the, the tomb where he was born, all that, it's just filled with this electricity that you get nowhere else in the world. Right. The yeah. electricity comes through you from your feet up and you feel it go through you. It's like an electrical surge. I was and, actually able to read a book on on all this and she's seen a lot of pictures and it kind of brought it to life for me a little bit. But yeah. Yeah. I mean, being in the place where Jesus actually, you know, spent time and walked around, it was very it was something that I needed to do. And like how I it's I kind of feel like I was chosen to go there. Absolutely. Like it was betrothed for me to be mm -hmm. in that place because That's I had no faith in God or Jesus right. or anything. It I like was it. done. I was done. And yeah. then I got this opportunity with this job to be wow. in Israel twice a year. Wow. And like I would have never refound my Christianity or any of that had I have not gone there. Yes, I believe. So that. how weird is that? Was, that that, yeah. that was good. God lifting you up. That's, it, that's awesome. It was God's way of giving me a sign. I feel. Yeah, like, I don't, yeah. That was great. God saying, "I am here, and I'm going to mm -hmm. show you and put me yeah. in that." place to 
you know, be saved or find my Christianity and not feel the way I did about it, like blaming God and blaming, uh, you know, saying, well, if there's a God where he didn't look after me, he didn't look after the millions of survivors in the, in, in the world, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that was the bad thing is that I I felt that for so many years and then okay. I was given the opportunity to be in Jerusalem. So well, can I share one another little story with you? Um sure. I was when I was in prison, I was like like you're saying, I had no faith in God. I like yeah. I just I was just done basically. And I was saying a prayer with a prisoner and I asked God, I says, Lord if there's really a God, can you at least just show me something to just show me that you're real? Just please give me something. And when I opened my eyes, I couldn't help but focus on a book in a bookcase across the cell block. And so I walked straight to that book, not taking my eyes off of it. And I pulled it straight out of the bookcase. And I asked the inmate that was laying there on his bunk. It was his bookcase. And they all had separate bookcases. And I says, may I look at this book? And he said, yeah, that's the dumbest book I've ever seen in my life. And it was Ellen White's book called The Great Controversy. She's co-founder of, or, of, of the, the Seventh Day Church. Yes, yeah. ma'am. And I read yeah. that book cover to cover, and I was sold and have yeah. been ever since. And I've been getting my kids involved in that church and everything the best I could. Ooh. And then. So the oh. SDA church helps me because I'm an animal oh. rescue. Oh, and, nice. Um, cool. I've rescued a lot of animals. Actually, right now I've just rescued a dog the other day. So I've got five dogs, big, huge dogs running around my house. Um, nice. So, yeah, so the SDA church um, donated so much food because at one point oh, I had wow. 26 cats in my care. And what I'd done is I saw, I found five pregnant young mum cats on the street. So wow. I put it, I decided that I was going to capture them and let them be safe and have their babies here. I ended up with 26 cats. Mm-hmm. Um, and the SDA church that are over here, and it's run by a lot of Pacific Islanders here. Nice. Um, well, I'd like to go to church here. They donated over a thousand dollars of animal food and toys and cages and the everything. They just paid for everything. Wow! Because um, I I was unprepared. I just put took these cats and I was like, I'll work it out. Um, they supplied everything, all the cages and crates, all of the. Houses and toys, food. I mean, they really helped me a lot here. I go, I go to a Seventh Day Adventist church no matter where I'm at, and I'm never disappointed. I love it, and they're great people. Um, well, That's God's it. in control. I mean, but yes. yeah, that, that that church has a message for the end times that no other church has. Not trying yeah. to talk bad about any other church. They're great, but they just right. have. A message for the end times. Oh, they do know. so much good work yeah. over here yes. in Australia. Yes. They, no, are, they, that's great. they do food banks where they go to the poor and give food. Um, I think they are like, I had to set up a program for a few people that I know in my area that didn't have a lot of money. And for $30 a week, they, they deliver all this food for them. Um, you know, they're very good over here, the SDA church. They're known for their charity work here. Well, tell them I said hi. Tell them I said hi. If you, I or, will. I don't know. Yes, please. Wow, I, I talked to one Islander girl. Like, she's an Islander yeah. lady. She's from Samoa. And yeah. she does a lot of SDA stuff. And, like, she... Whenever I ask her anything, she always helps me, like, facilitate for other people, you know. Like, my neighbour next door, he's got mental health issues and he's kind of losing his mind. And they go check on him now and they drop him off vegetables and stuff. I cook for him and look after him. He's Persian. He ran from Iran. I mean, they are really good here. 
what they yeah. do. Don, if you feel that's comfortable good. with them, then that's what you need to stick with. Oh, like, yeah. if yeah, you feel, you know, that that's where you need to be. Anything, just hold on to God because there's so much evil out here right now. Well, that's, that's, that's definitely what there. we all need to work on, you know. But I always like to say, you know, they, they have a little extra more than your regular church. I'm not trying to bash any other church. I'm not. But they yeah, do yeah. have some anti messages that we all need to understand about the mark oh, yeah. of the beast. Oh you know, yeah, it's very so important. Cool. It's I just so cool. if I say if I walk past like over here, we have these most amazing churches, like really old churches. Oh, Whenever yeah. I walk past, I always go in and I pray, light a candle. Because after coming back from Israel and all of that. I, I it changed me. It made me yeah. you know, like wow. yeah, I don't care what the church is, Catholic, whatever right. it is, I'll still go in there. Yeah. I'm you know, mother. I'll just go in there and, and I do pray the cathedrals are beautiful in Australia, some of them. Ron Ron Wyatt thinks he met Jesus face to face well, I too. Disagree. He uh, met a man, and he was about to close down the whole expedition and everything because nobody was supposed to know about this stuff. And he asked this man a few questions. He had long, flowing Mm -hmm. black hair. Um, He he looked like native to Israel, you know. But he finally, he asked him, he says, I'm coming from, finally he said, you know what, I'm coming from Africa, and I'm going to the New Jerusalem. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, his I his jaw agree. just dro- like dropped. Ron Wyatt's like, going to I'm the new Jerusalem. I'm definitely going to look that up because I <laughs> I wanted to see more about the Ark of the Covenant. And, and it's it's always been fascinating yeah. to me. Absolutely. Always, yeah, it's the yeah. same my, man. That, my husband is my husband is one person that mama. Is, is not like he's 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 bad with the church. Like he's he's um. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I'd love to get him to a better place of Christianity and stuff. He doesn't. He just right. tells me, that's your, you know, you do. He's Mexican and yeah. Guatemalan, and he's over here in Australia. So he misses his well, people, but they are all Catholic, you know, in Mexico, yeah. a lot of them. Yeah, the Catholic yeah, Church is very strong in other countries. That's Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Well, I don't I want to talk bad about them all, but they did kill over 50 no. well, million yeah. Christians in the dark throughout the dark well, ages. You know, my it's over here with my son. I had to put him in a Catholic school because of the safety reasons. You know what I right. mean? It's safe, but he look, got bullied look. a couple of weeks ago. He got bashed at school. He's a special needs boy. He's autistic. And he goes from Catholic school, and then last week he got beaten up about two weeks ago, and these oh, eight boys get like bashed him at school. Oh. I, I was friggin' horrified. Want, want yeah. mm. You know, eight boys stood around yeah, him and yeah. beat him up. Yeah. Yeah. That's not good. So it's pretty bad. That was that was disturbing. And, um, I mean, it's supposed to be the safest school in Sydney. Yeah. So I was pretty disappointed, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah. And I said that, like, well, five times a day. It's really good talking to you all, and I really appreciate you guys you so too. very much. Thank you. I think You're I'm going to jump off here. And it was good talking to you. I just you wanted too. you to know that you don't Thank have you. to give up hope and don't let right. anybody tell you that you have yeah. to. You know, right. um, it seems to me like this is very well organized, which may, leads yeah. me to believe that it could definitely be yes. a situation like I was in. Absolutely. Even I hate to think that. Well, I, I did too, have but to be honest, it, I have that's to what be I've been, honest I've been it. thinking. I've been thinking in the same terms, so you're not alone. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just be careful um, saying it because people think right. that you know. Yeah. I just feel like people, anything you or Candace say, they're just gonna yeah. turn it, twist it. Oh yeah. 
and it's disgusting. I mean, yeah, if really, they say yeah. they love summer, they should love the parents of the that's child right. that they say they love. Absolutely. Yeah, right. well, it's disgusting. Yeah. Get all that ready for me and I'll I'm really so very is. thankful for you sharing your uh, story. Thank you so much. You're welcome. That Glad you lot. told me a few stories too. Because <laughs> yeah. I need to look that Ark of the Covenant. I'm obsessed yeah. with it. Yeah, Ron, Ron Wyatt. Ron, Ron Wyatt. Wyatt. Wyatt, W Y A T T Discoveries. Yeah. yeah. I'm definitely right. going to be on that Thank you, today. Right. Right. Thank you guys. We appreciate All y'all right. so very much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get off here and try to deal with my back a little bit. Okay. okay. You can deal with rest, okay. You, okay, God bless y'all. We'll see you. All right. You okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Yanni, for coming up and talking to him no, because that's all right. Sure. They tried to um, twist hit what he yeah. was saying around. That's what they were. They're going to continue to do it too, sadly. Um, mm -hmm. Even, you know, just now him saying what he said to me, they're going to twist that. But, you know, the thing is, mm -hmm. the truth is, my dad met me for the first time when I was 18 years old. So mm -hmm. there is hope and proof. The more this case unravels, the more I think this was so professionally done. Right. It just I did too. so professionally done to me. Uh, they didn't make any mistakes because they planned it. They planned it for a while. That's Sadly, why we've seen that flash a lot. Yeah. And I think that they've seen it on social media and maybe yeah. somebody in that area is connected. You never know. You know, there could be somebody in the area that is that is connected to the case, you know, and so something uh, it seems very, you know, the, the thing is that they are experts in scent, but like they know how to take the scent off, you know, like the, the, the skills these people have mm -hmm. are second to none. Like you have no idea how fastidious they are about little tiny things even that flash behind that tree that's that was almost a, a f up for them right you know whoever found that was amazing because they don't usually get caught doing things like that i know candace i think candace come across that um I think Candace come across that. Oh, I watched it probably a hundred times. I kept rewinding you seen it. it too? Oh, I watched it a hundred times over. There, someone was taking photos. Wow. Someone was it's taking creepy. photos. That's what they do. They they case the whole area. They will they will they probably were watching for a month or so. That's what they do. They do everything. If they're gonna, if they're gonna take a kid, which they don't always do, they 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 must have particularly wanted Summer. If this is the case that she's, you know, yeah. encountered, she's wow. blonde hair and blue eyes. A lot of them love that because, know. Um, you know, a lot of the elite are darker haired. I didn't. I didn't see that many fair-headed, you know, that's the bizarre thing that I just thought of now is mm -hmm. most of them were dark-haired. I didn't see white, like, blonde-headed abusers. How weird is that? They that's were weird. all darker, darker people, like darker mm -hmm. complexion, like darker hair, darker eyes and, Maybe, you know, I just, I don't know how you would look for Summer, how you, you no. know, like I said, they're very smart. And if they've got her, she's going to have to get away. Yeah. They're yeah. not going to let her There's go. still a chance. But I just, you know, Don, Don had talked to me and Christine the night before he, he talked to Doug. And he was planning on coming out and t telling the story. But Doug secretly recorded him and twisted it around. And I just wanted him to have a chance to express how he felt. Like he feels like she may have been taken and trafficked. I mean, yeah. I know it's hard for him to hear, but it's people hard. Know it's, it's very, very real. Hard. 
it's very hard, but it's the reality, and it, it does, it's happening. It's happening. I mean, that's, that kills me to think of that, but it is happening. Um, and it's, and like, you know, sometimes I'll just sit here and I'll think, oh, it's happening right now. You know, like mm -hmm. that thought comes over my he head about a hundred times a day sometimes. I never stop thinking about that. To I think know. that there's so many kids out there that are going through what I went through. I and know. It's a very harsh reality to be. It think really of it is. That way. It is. It is. Could you and imagine? I struggle. Me? I struggle with that every day. I do. And my Can husband you... knows when I'm doing it because I kind of stare off into space and he's like, stop. And right. I'm like, stop. He's like, he knows. He knows that I'm thinking about it. He knows. Could you imagine being a parent, though, and thinking, like, we? I literally had to pray for him, for him to be able to sleep that night. Because it has tormented his mind. It's tormenting his mind to think about where that baby could be, you know? Yeah, but and, you know what? He's going to have to understand that. If she is in that situation, it's going to be having to be her. And I mm. feel she's feisty enough. She's a, she reminds me of the type of child I am. I think she's feisty enough to figure it out and escape. I just feel like she's one of them type of kids that's feisty that will be like, yeah, and she'll she's smart and she'll figure it out. I did hundreds of uh, thousands, maybe millions of others got away. Right. So it's not just a rare occurrence. A lot of us get away. I was lucky I got away. They stopped looking for me. And I I, I don't know if they ever did or not, but it just seemed that they stopped. Maybe when they were still looking for me, but the police got to me in time for me to yeah. keep away from them. I Thank don't know God. what happened, but I can tell you right now that mm -hmm. if this in it, I hate saying it. I felt bad even saying that to him, but mm -hmm. in a way, it's hope because a lot of kids in that position do get away. Right. And that's what, escape. even though it is hard, I just want people to believe that. I want there's, people another, to... there's another reason that some mm -hmm. has gone, not just because of her family. You know, it's it, they've got to stop. Uh, Don and Candace aren't masterminds like people think they are. They're just not. No. I mean, they're just not. And uh, people just need to stop and really look at it as... Don and Candace, I'm not calling them dumb. That's not what I'm meaning. I know they'll probably twist that. What I'm saying is a criminal mastermind probably took that kid, took that baby. Yeah. Summer yeah. was taken by somebody that was ultra, ultra smart and intelligent. They yes. knew what they were doing. And they yep. watched and waited. And when Candace walked over to do that with her mum, that uh -huh. was the, that's when they were like, go time, let's do it. Right, right. And I just, and I just say that, I just say that. And, you know, I always thought it was trafficking. I just changed my yeah. perspective on how it happened. And, and well, I Don always felt out. it was. And Don thinking back of that stuff, he was thinking about when he was young, he remembers that going on and now it's clicking. It's clicking in like maybe yeah. there was something more going on. That's why I wanted you to talk to him because yeah. he was thinking, you know, maybe that's what was going on. And I don't think he's fully aware of the traffic and, and how it is. It's organized, yeah. How big but it is. But you know what? To think of it, Daisy, like there was no sign of that little girl's abduction. Well, doesn't mm -hmm. that say something? Doesn't that say that somebody that did this knew exactly what they were doing? Yep. Because most kidnappers get caught. They do. Yep. Um, think about it. Normal kidnappers get caught. 
they find out who took them. Yeah, they find them. They find these kids or they, you know, they kill them or whatever. Summer's never been nothing. There's no sign of that child. That little girl just disappeared. And we know that that's not possible. Right. So whatever happened, happened, and it happened in a very smart and very swift and very well planned. Way. Well, I want to show everybody about this little uh, Sanchez girl that was kidnapped, and 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 this is a perfect example of of how these perpetrators involve themselves into this case. And I, yeah. I wanted to let y'all listen to this right quick. I didn't mean to cut you off, but I wanted no, no, to play this where, where I left. It's a little. Her name is uh, Mitzi. Sanchez, so I'm going to have to play some of it a little bit of time. Fair use for this. I never knew about this. So, yeah. She's so beautiful. Yeah. I want people to see this. The story of an eight-year-old girl from Vallejo who defied all odds by escaping a kidnapper who had already killed at least two other girls. Her name is Mitzi Sanchez, and she is now 24 years old. For years, Mitzi refused to even think about what happened to her. But now she's sharing her incredible story of survival. I miss you guys. In December 1999, seven-year-old Ziana Fairchild disappeared from her home in Vallejo. Nobody knew it at the time, but Ziana had already been murdered by a local taxi driver named Curtis Dean Anderson, who had also kidnapped and killed seven-year-old Amber Schwartz from Panol, and would later claim to have killed 13 other girls. Is there anybody that's more of a dangerous society than someone like that? Then, on August 12, 2000, an eight-year-old second grader named Mitzi Sanchez was walking home alone from Vallejo's Highland Elementary School. It was the day of my birthday party, and I wanted to help my mom get she everything set up. I was yeah, from home. she was. Uh, she was. It was actually her birthday party. She didn't want to go to school that day. I have to stop it to to contra so I don't get a copyright. But yeah, yeah. and I that's what I looked like. When I was a kid. It was Curtis Dean Anderson. Uh, As I got closer, I noticed he was watching me through his rearview mirror, and my gut instinct told me to cross the street. But excited for her birthday party, Mitzi kept walking. Anderson got out and asked her to help him grab a roll of duct tape out of his car. As soon as I reached in to grab the duct tape from the floorboard of the car, he just leaned over me from behind, and he put his hand over my mouth. Within seconds, Anderson was driving away past Mitzi's house, where her mom was inside getting ready for the birthday party. And I'm watching my house. I just remember thinking, I want to be home so bad. I wish I was home. Anderson drove her across the freeway to the shopping center parking lot. He made me change my clothes. He, at this point, pulled out alcohol, and he poured the alcohol and said, drink it. That night. So it can happen really, really fast, y'all. And look, he's already. I mean, it doing... does happen like that, but usually those trafficking rings are more organized. Yeah, I, think this I, just, just, I don't think don't... this traffic. This is a. This is just a sicko serial. Yeah, yeah sicko. Yeah, yeah. But this is how fast it can happen. Night was spent in the parking yeah. lot of this truck stop off Highway 80 on the outskirts of Vallejo, where Anderson abused Mitzi and pulled out a chain. It was like one of those long silver link chains and he tied it really tight around my leg and locked it up with a padlock. And I thought, this is it. Like, I'm not going to see my family again. Meanwhile, word spread quickly that another little girl from Vallejo was missing. Vallejo police are again asking for the public's help tonight in locating a missing eight-year-old girl. Police say Mitzi Sanchez was last seen at about three o'clock this afternoon. Well, you're, you're searching for every little tiny clue that might lead you to something. He would put up blankets and towels to cover up the window so nobody could see inside. He would leave me in the car to go watch my mom cry on TV. Then two days after the kidnapping, Anderson left Mitzi alone. Did you hear that? He would go watch her mom on TV. So they're watching. They're yeah, watching. They, do. they watch. And left behind his ring of keys. I just picked the smallest one and unlocked the padlock that he had changed around my leg. A few hours later, Curtis Dean Anderson was in custody and Mitzi Sanchez was home. Mitzi's father carried her in as dozens of people celebrated her return. It was surreal. It was unbelievable. It was uh, miraculous. And to think a child that young was able to free herself and get away from this is just stuff that's stranger than fiction. Mitzi had her birthday party, but things would never be the same. Although everyone was there to show their love and support, I was still 
not okay. For the next few years, Mitzi was in therapy. Known as the kidnapped girl, she struggled to fit in at school. Her parents also struggled. Then, after Mitzi turned 12, things got worse. I was loaded, drunk, doing mm. God knows what. I remember thinking that you know, this, this girl's self-destructive and, and, and feeling really bad, knowing that most likely her encounter with the uh, with the child kidnapper is is the reason why she's so self-destructive and figured it was a matter of time before you know she turned up dead somewhere. In 2009, Mitzi, then 16, was severely injured as a passenger in a drunk driving accident. Once again, she was fighting for her life. This time, though, things would be different. Coming home from the accident from the hospital, I found out I was pregnant with my daughter, who's now six. And that was life-changing for me. That was my wake-up call. Now 24, Mitzi is living a clean life, still in Vallejo, working and raising her daughter. She also helps counsel families of missing children. This is what I'm here for. This is my purpose. When I think about Sienna and Amber and all of the other girls that didn't make it, I just, mm. sometimes I'm like overwhelmed with the feeling of, like, why me? Curtis Dean Anderson was sentenced to 300 years mm. in prison. He died in 2007 from kidney failure. Now, Mitzi says she owes it to the children Anderson killed and other victims to make sure she makes a difference with her life. What a story. When you think about everything that she's gone through and then to see her now and how she's... Okay, one part of that story that it wasn't in there was that he chained her up in that car and drove up to her parents' house and... Yeah and at, knocked on the door while she's chained to the car he knocked on the door and asked her parents for flyers but did you so, notice how when she talked about others how she said mm -hmm. I know there's others see how we always think that think about yeah we well, always think about the others that we why us why did I get away why didn't that one get away we always think like that I know. That is classic. Um, that's exactly how I think. Exactly what she said is what I think every day. Why does people not want to learn more about this? Why does people run away from it? Do they not want to? Do they not want to know that this world is people that bad? People don't believe it. They just don't believe it. They just feel like it's just so out there that it just can't be real and. Unfortunately, mm. it's so freaking real and mm. it's happening right this moment and there's nothing any of us can do but keep watching. When I'm walking in the street, I, I, I'm aware of everything. I look at children. I look at just in case I come across a case where I go, something's wrong with that kid. And I did. I had that once happen. Because mm -hmm. a little girl, I told you, she was in the centre and she had a black eye mm -hmm. and she kept looking down. So I followed them and I called the police and the police went in there and the mother was beaten up and the child. I mean, mm -hmm. you, I'm always looking, thinking, you know, one in three, the statistics. So I'm mm -hmm. counting people in the street, you know, like one in five. You know, it, it's hard because you live with that afterwards all the time. You're always looking around and thinking there could be somebody right next to you going through mm -hmm. that. Yeah, absolutely. And and I hope you know, I've seen a lot of people coming for me in the chat because they were like, um, you know, Daisy shouldn't be talking about this, but Don wants to talk about this. Don wants to talk about it because he told Don me and Chris the father he, of the child that's missing he has every right to want to right. hear this stuff exactly exactly Absolutely. and so it he, got has the right. he, he talked he went and talked to Doug about it right and it got twisted before he had a chance to come out and actually talk about it yeah. it got twisted Doug twisted it and that's what I was trying to do on here is to explain that Don feels like somebody took her and she's, you know, in that that kind of... Cause he, and, cause, you know, when he said it at first, people thought you, it was Ruby. too soon for him mm -hmm. to make that assumption. It's now two years later. Right. I mean, seriously, he has every right to feel this way right now. It's two years on. 
Yeah. And, and, he, I, and he thought it from the beginning, and that was a problem for everybody. But what are they saying now? Two years later, what yeah. Don and Candace are criminal masterminds. They, you know, made their child disappear. Come on. That's so far fetched. Right. Because how could they have? Because TBI was right oh. there. The there was boy no time. There. There, was no, there was no time for any of that. I mean, right. come on. It's, this happened in a professional way. It was done in a way where they were, they cased the joint. They watched them constantly. Just like robbers of a bank, they watch the bank for weeks and then they rob it. You know what I mean? It's just oh, yeah. they do not do anything quickly. And I also feel like the people around that area as well, and there's a lot of those but people he, that I right, say are connected to those kinds of people. That's what that's I was, thinking. What I mean. I was yeah. thinking that maybe somebody in that area has connections. That's why you I want to come up here, actually. Yeah. Miss Daisy yeah. and Johnny both. I'm going to uh -huh. tell you, when I found out that that man that wrote that book about I'll be right Summer... Back was of the Knights Templar and a Freemason, and he is uh, calls himself a pastor. Now, I'm just going to say, mm -hmm. you know, Yana, you and I have talked about a couple of experiences, you know, what you've yeah. gone through, what I've gone through. Some yeah. similar. You went through a lot worse than I did. But I had a ritual situation in a Masonic Lodge nonetheless. My, yeah. my thing is, I'm concerned this man having these links. Now, we all know that lots of times law enforcement in a low, on the, yeah. especially these towns, that's why you see everybody take a look at your local town, okay? Look at where your Masonic lodges are. They're right beside municipal buildings where the police is, the town hall, the mm -hmm. just the fire. They just are no, here just as well. notice it. Yeah. You just, people yeah. will notice that. And notice also most Masonic lodges don't have any windows um there are reasons for that trust me <laughs> and it's i know you hall. know they usually are like a building that's got like a hall yes. so there's never any windows yeah, yeah right, right. Yeah. it's like a hall and it goes back into the temple area where they will do, will do the rituals and things like that. And they'll hold yeah. certain ceremonies and yeah. things there when they take the higher degrees. You know, they can only get to the third degree, which is the Master Mason on the lo Blue Lodge levels, the local lodge. And most and of them stay at that level and they're fine with Most it, of right? them do, oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But my grandfather, he was a 33rd degree. And, of course, uh, those people, my family on that side, they all were. My dad only went to the third degree and he stopped. Um, yeah. I think he saw things that he did not like, and he just, in 1975, whenever I had my memory, quite incidentally, he just stopped going. And yeah. I found all of his stuff, you know, his gloves and his um, his little thing that you put on the apron and all that stuff. And I found yeah. it, and, and what made me so traumatized by it is when he came and saw me with it and with his gloves on, he look like a crazy person and jerked him out of my hands and he did never do that to me i was like a daddy's girl and he was just like put those up don't you ever touch those again and it was just i don't know there was just something not right and i just wonder you know what happened to him when he was little you know what i'm saying like i know yeah you know there's just things that don't that add up that now add up a lot and yeah. people don't understand how organized this stuff is these people they they don't even understand that listen to this see and this is what gets me where the people go and get their children's picture made you know they think they're doing such a good thing oh let's go to walmart and get our child's picture made and have this little card made with their fingerprint with our address and the parents mm. names at the address well these are the freemasons that are doing this they're collecting the database on their where every children lives with their picture on it their measurements, their height, their weight, their eye color, their hair color. Now think about that. They have a plethora of children to choose from. They love a blonde-haired, blue-eyed one, Bob. Yeah, and I mentioned that too about Summer, having yeah. those um, that blonde hair and those blue eyes. And yeah. 
I felt like almost somebody saw her and prayed upon her. And I feel like there might be some connection with a certain person. I don't want to say his name out, but it's somebody who joined the church at a later date and then left. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. um, he, and he's tied in with I'm some other officials. Of that yes. Person as Free well. Ma- yeah. Yes. A Freemasonry, same thing in there. Mm-hmm. And there yeah. are some other things with Waco, with the, uh, the Branch Davidians. And yeah, there's just a lot of things that I'm really concerned about. And I really feel there's a lot of cover up in this local law enforcement because Ronnie Lawson's son, he had charges on him for SA for a whole year when Summer is missing. Nobody knew about it until he yeah. is actually sentenced to 20 years, but only takes an offered plea and has to do only one year. Now, that. You know what goes on. Freemasons, they take that oath to protect yeah. one another and their children and stuff to the point of breaking the law. That comes first. Uh, you don't mm-hmm. go against a fellow brother or their family. You, it's like the mob. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You, you, you basically will do whatever you got to do. Dirty. Whatever well, they're, dirty. They're, they are and, and you take an oath that you'll die. Like oh, absolutely, they'll yeah. be gutted. That they're yeah. and they'll be disemboweled. Um, yeah. And every single oath that they take, there's curses that come along with that oath, and that's why people don't understand how real generational curses are. And if they mm. come from a family that's got a very long line of masonry, shriners, anything like that, it would do. It would serve them well to do. A renunciation of that over them and their bloodline. Yeah. I mean, it sure wouldn't hurt. And I, I know I've done it. And my dad, he renounced that right before he passed away and he got saved. And I'm so thankful. But these See, people, for me, whenever I walk past a Masonic place, I, I feel sick. In the yeah, space. it makes It'll me feel it. sick too, like nauseous. I, I'll cross yeah. the street. I will go to the other yeah. side of the street because I just don't want to go near the place. And it's it makes so, you have like yeah. almost like, uh, le- not labor pains, but you know what I'm saying, cramps. Like yeah, real like bad, just, real bad cramped yeah. up and like you're going to get sick. It's just I like kind of really get, feeling. I kind of get dizzy and yeah. Light headed, like I'm like, no, I just I, I just cross over. You know, and I even think, just looking at it from the other side of the street, I get shivers like and, gross. And think about all the things that happen there. And if you are very sensitive because of the things that you go through, and sometimes we are just born a certain way more sensitive. And I believe that people can pick up on that energy that is so mm. negative. You know, in those places, because there are many of those people that don't know what goes on. But then there are those that are pay A lot of people think the Masons do great stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've had had people say it in my presence, and I just look at them like, you have no idea what they actually really do. Oh, yeah, don't get mad at me. I'm back, y'all. Hey. (laughs) Hey, King King. I mean, I got to see that the the oh you know like I said I saw the thirty three degrees I saw the sixty six degrees I yeah. saw all of it I saw them all all the different I the rituals I saw them all Mas- and, mascara um, red look here what mascara red right. said mascara red said just to let you know Daisy I have pictures of Andy Benar in a Masonic temple dressed as a Masonic I, I have seen that picture. I wow. have seen that picture about eight months ago. I saw it. She's right. I've seen that, that picture. That's kind of scary, ain't it? Yeah, and I'm telling you, the people in that neighborhood, I'm telling you, and I I'm don't you, trust. I don't trust the law enforcement either in the local law enforcement. Well, I don't you know, you anymore. know I that don't. they're all linked. You know, there's a lot the of Freemasons at a place. Yes. Yeah, 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 that's right. Uh, because I know that in my family, um, the two that were firemen, they were also, they were Freemasons, and then they went to the Shriners, because after the third level, you can go to the Shriners. Yeah, so that's right. they were Shriners. And um, then my dad, I don't know why, whatever reason he had, but he was Candace pretty adamant about it. Candace said what? 
that she hadn't seen that picture of Andy Bernard. I had seen it seen it ages ago. And I was like, you know what? I always had suspicions of him and the ex-wife. I just don't trust how she inserted herself in this whole thing. It just seems so bizarre to me that she inserted herself the way she did. Like, and you know what? A lot of the time they do that. People that are guilty will insert themselves just to keep up. Oh, yeah. Progress of a case so they know how safe they they are Uh or are not. That's right. Yeah, and I, and I wonder still about that DD. I'm sorry, I still got such a bad feeling yeah. about that man. Yeah, DD, he was. Mm. There's something there. There's so many is. of them in that, that neighborhood yeah. that I've really looked into and thought, so you know many. what? Is, oh, yes. are they all involved? Do you know what I mean? Uh, is there a whole group of them that are involved? Right. Look I mean, at I don't trust him. I don't trust Jody Sue either, and I don't even know. Me neither. Oh of my her. god! I get such an evil feeling off that woman. Oh, I, can't ex- I, can't I feel like I need it. to have a bath just to look at her. I don't know what it is. She gives me creeper but I can't even. I, I and can't I, watch her. I have to turn it off. I have I to feel turn like it she's off. She's got such an evil like presence. She. I don't even think she likes darkness. children. I don't even think she There's likes her darkness. own children. Yes, there is. And the way that she says things about children, like yes, like in a negative way. And I, yeah, it and it's, me. it bothers me as well. Hold on, I'll be back in one second, okay? I'll be back. Okay. There's so Daisy. many dumb people that live around that area. Yeah. And, and Daisy, what I was saying is when I found out about that man that wrote that book that just came out, you know what I'm talking about, that they just talked about, about Summer. Mm-hmm. Now, listen, he says he calls himself a pastor. He's a Democratic pastor, which, you know, I'm not going to get into that. But we know how life is and how, you know, the sanctity of life is. But at the same time, this man also says he's a Knights Templar which way, that's way up in the OTO, which is like, that's a bit of Luciferianism and stuff. And mm-hmm. also, uh, being a Freemason, I mean, if you get up into the high levels of Freemasonry, which I believe this man must be, to have all these different connections. Oh, yeah. And, and listen, the uh, Ronnie Lawson, I believe he's a Freemason 100%. I would bet my life on it. And mm. Um, all of these people, they take an oath to protect their brotherhood and their families of their brotherhood. They'll even break the law to do it. Yeah. And like, so I'm thinking, like, I'm wondering if either somebody's child, like, you know, Ronnie Lawson's son, he was in trouble for doing something bad, and he got 20 years and only served a year on an offer plea at home. And I'm just saying, like, they kept that quiet when this little baby was missing. How did that stay quiet that the sheriff's That's son... That's true. That's true. I mean, they had to be covered for each other mighty hard. Right. Exactly. Right. To me, that would have been the first thing that was leaked out. You know, if there's a sheriff and his son is up on SA and there's a five-year-old missing little girl, why wouldn't they remove him off that case? I don't you like know that. what? There's too many of them. There's just too many suspicious people. It and is. you know, the thing is, Sailor, that I think is that I just feel like that if it, if it's the neighbours that are involved, there's more than one. There, there's a yes, few Kate in can. on I it. I heard that. And has anyone heard that? I heard she was a witch. Off she told mouth. me. I heard her say out of her own mouth she was wicked. I heard her say that too, Candace. Oh, you know that time she went in the mountains and said she was going to some kind of thing. Are they doing some kind of a rally, like a KKK rally or something? Yeah. There, and she was, was like, don't kind wear of a perfume or yeah, something. I, yeah. I didn't know if they were going out there and doing some kind of, you know, some kind of ritual out in the moon. And the, you know, they'll... She said she would smother her baby if it had something wrong with it. So basically my son, who's autistic, she would have smothered him at birth. That is scary. 
She said she is... actually said that, and I nearly threw up when I heard her say that because you just yeah, that, how I mean, can you carry a baby and no matter what is wrong with them, not love them so much it came out of your body. Amen. My son's got um Asperger's and I love him to pieces. He's the sweetest child. I could not ask for a sweeter child. Yeah. And you know what? Uh I hate to tell these people, but they would be surprised at how many very, very intelligent people are autistic and have uh, right. different things like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. It makes, it makes them yes. brilliant in certain areas. It really does. Like a savant okay. almost. King Can said, thank everyone for hearing me. I don't really know about her, but I know she talks crazy about children. Yes, she does. And to stay away from her. She's horrible. Yeah, I think Candace just the lies that she's told about the lies that she told about Summer. Yes. It still bothers it's me to this day. Every time I see her, it bothers me. Like and I just that she would make up and say, "It's like, where do you come up with that?" First of all, and why are you trying to throw the scent off so hard away from your the scent? I mean, yeah. and and her. Being in the creek and then not in the creek and her planting flowers and not planting. I don't know. It's just, I agree, what, Candace. What the she hell? I don't understand a, why she, she is such a polygraph test. Yeah, she says she took a polygraph that. already and I passed don't it. I don't believe that. For I don't either. Again, I don't believe nothing she says. Who's in, is Cotton Candy in here? I wonder if they could yeah. give Candace and Don. I love the, you, Cotton Candy. I wish I they could give. Her. I, I wish. Her. I wish Don and Why Candace was could she call. by the creek not wet? Candace said, "Why was she by the creek not wet?" Right. There's too many weird things. It's kind of weird, isn't thing. it? It is. Candace, it's and very for her weird. To say she heard a, a very shrill scream like earlier. But then didn't even go check on it or nothing. I don't nothing believe she heard a I don't scream. Believe, I don't believe it either. I don't believe nothing that I don't said. believe she heard a scream at all. I don't. I do, everything that she talked and the way she explains the scream, like she can see it or he shapes or what. What the hell was she saying? I. How do you? It doesn't make see sense in what shapes. Says. What does she mean by see in shapes? I don't What's know. That? She never took a, a poly. She lied about it. Yeah, I think yeah, she, she lied. Says she that's has, what I think. She says she's the only one that's been, um, what do you call it? Um, mm -hmm. Clear. She's the only one. And just said she lies about everything. I see that. She lies. I, I can, and she, I she made that. out like she was so involved in Summer's life. Like oh, yeah. every she and it just didn't everything. make any friggin' sense. No, because you could tell she don't even like her own kids much less taking care of Candace's children. I just don't believe that for a minute. And I saw Candace's video she put out today with all those beautiful pictures of those children from the time they were babies when Summer was a baby and all those kids growing up. Uh, you can share and cotton candy. No, I can't stand that bloody Jody Sue. I, I'm, uh, I am the one that has just never liked her from this. I, the moment I seen her, I was like, I don't like you immediately. Like it was just immediate. I never liked her. When people, I was in, I used to be friends with Tiffany, you know that, Daisy. I was in her channel all the time. And yeah. as soon as she brought Jody into there, I left. I, I said to her, I'm not staying here. And now Jody's back there again. And I knew well, she was the same. Candace she said, Tiffany's channel. She Candace never said, watched her children. Candace said, She never, she was never in my children's life. She lied about watching my children. I believe yeah, that. I, out. I think she's a pathological liar. And I, think she would I knew she was lying from the yeah. minute she opened that mouth. Yeah, I, I knew that she had nothing to do with those kids. I knew I, it. I knew it too. So everything I else she it. said was to well, me, I mean, it was no good because the lying. Candy the hates her too. We hate her. We share and me and we've hated her for no, so nobody. long. I've never liked her from beginning. She and I kind of got into it. I got into it with old Pandrew and her, both of them. Yeah, I don't like them, Sorry, but they I don't. Got, 
they give me all that weird creepy well vibes. if you think yes. about it candace said she's a lie if you think about it she's a liar nobody would have went in up and down that holler without her seeing it that day there ain't right. nobody because right. she was on the look for uh jo jackie dobbs she didn't want jackie dobbs in there so she was on the look for him so mm -hmm. if any that's she's what got she has really a really thing her. against him, doesn't she? But isn't she? She apparently she's all obsessed with the area and the the property lines, and, and um, look, now she, she, got she no wanted to buy Candace and leave. Don's property, apparently, or something. Is that true? Mad Candace, Candace, I don't know. Mad she I know about the property. death boxes. She's got like um dead animals, like skulls and. Yes. Like, like she, she had, she gets roadkill and she puts them in the boxes and she keeps the bones and stuff. That's a How bit concerning. Concerning. That, that, that sounds like that, witchcraft, y'all. Well, that's part of her wicked. Wiccan is witchcraft. She talks so, about it. Like yeah, she, she claims yeah. that. Wow. Yeah, she, yeah, she, she talks about it. And now, listen, some people, depending on if they do, I mean, look, witchcraft is witchcraft ain't good. But there is black magic and there's white magic. And people that do black magic, which she seems like the kind of person that would. I'm just saying there's Absolutely. no telling what they would do. You don't know the kind of things that they would do to children. Well, if you look up death boxes, it comes under voodoo and dark magic. Right. Like and 32 dead animals, they said. What? Uh, and you... what about her dog that she kept chained up in a barn and his brain was splattered all over? I mean, it just oh, seems very no. bizarre to me. And also, people yeah. that hurt animals. There's something wrong with people who hurt Can animals. Can said she got mad because me and Donnie wanted to sell and then we decided not to, and then she was pissed. Oh, yeah, yeah I, I saw like that. that. I remember that. Something about that. That's yeah, a she, motive she, right there. She said to, that Don and Candace are the outsiders and they need to leave the area because she's the big, you know, big bouncer around there. Well, it wasn't even her property. It was her friggin' hut. Her, her I don't husband, even whatever. Were they married? If they were, she, I don't know. Were they no, married? They I don't were, think they were married no. even. So nothing no. in that property belongs to her. Nothing. And now nothing. She has no. Yeah, say but she was. There. She was mad enough about that property that, that's to want to, want to run Jackie down. Dobbs down. So I mean, she was there looking for Jackie Dobbs that day. Right. And yeah. why was she down at the bottom of that hill when Candace first went down there? That's what I don't understand. And mm -hmm. uh, why was she down there at the bottom of that damn hill? Mm -hmm. Being, yeah. I don't know. Let's just and then saying she was in the creek looking for summer, but she was dry. Um, I reckon she was getting the scent off her. That's why she went in the water, if she did indeed go in the water. She was trying know. to get her scent not seen or something. I don't know. It just seems... I, can't I just figure don't buy out anything she, she says. Yeah, I can't figure out if she just wants her five seconds of fame or if she's just a pathological liar. But she's had two herself. years. Okay. She's still doing it. She's still yeah. cashing in on Summer. Right. And she's just repeating the same over and over. And nothing hey, that she love. says is new. It's all the same stuff over and over and over again. Same stuff. And she keeps hey, on talking about Andy. Andy's married. He's moved on. Get over it. Like, yeah. Come oh, on. she ain't gonna. <laughs> that's it's not gonna happen. Because oh, I just. She, she mm, was, uh, she was a oh, big hot in the day, I, I mean, felt too. I feel bad for any woman if they've been abused domestically. But my thing is, if you've been abused domestically, don't go back. You know what I'm saying? If you said, escape from it, don't go back. Ken Ken said, well, me and Donnie are tired. He is hurting, so I'm going to take care of him and be back later. Love y'all. Oh, Goodbye, right. Ken Ken. Well, love love you. You too. we'll be praying for y'all. Hi, Miss Lady Love. Good How night. are you? Candace, you I'm going to some rest. She may be back. Sometimes she she'll works come back. hard. I don't know how she does that job. I'm such a wimp. I can't do nothing. I can't even turn on a friggin' drill without freaking out. <laughs> Me neither. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> she can fix the car. Did you know that? She can fix the car. I'm you like, don't know. 
get nobody I'll to turn on the, I turn on the drill and I'm terrified. I put it down and I go, no, no I can't. Love you do too, Can Can. We love have you. a good night. good night. Come back if you get a chance. We'll be here. <laughs> get Don we'll to see if you come back. We'll be here. We'll be come here. Thank you, Sherry. Wow, this one on YouTube. Thank you for giving me that super chat while ago, Auntie Sherry. And you too, Miss uh, Yanni. I appreciate that. I appreciate We're all it. clocking. We're all up here having a clock. Clock. <laughs> right. yeah. In the hand house. You have to laugh because sometimes when you talk about this stuff, it, it heavy uh -huh. is heavy. You know, it's hard. I, it's Yanni, I want you to clip this or use this 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 live um, for your channel. So you just yeah, let people know that you talk to the father. Yeah, of a lot of people yeah. ask me. They're like, oh, you know, because, you know, on my channel, I talk about bloody everything, everything. I talk yeah. about recipes, my animals. I, it's just uh -huh. not going in one direction. A lot of people say, oh, you haven't heard your story. I said, well, I've said it a few times. Yeah. I yeah. didn't. I didn't get into detail tonight with Don because I didn't yeah. want it. You know what I mean? You noticed that I kind of held. Yeah. Held back. I just didn't want mm -hmm. to get all graphic. You didn't want to get him in that place. It would have been too much. Yeah, yeah, because you know I can go there if I, if I, oh, yeah. you and know, I, I can. If, if I chose not did. to because I'm talking to the father of a missing child. Missing child right. So and I Candace, decided Candace that been. I wouldn't. You know, I, I wouldn't go too far into it. You're not so blocking, Terry. Come on. I um, for me, I just um feel like you know you you got to do do things a bit lightly these, when it comes yeah. to. He's already been. Because you tall. can tell, can you? I, I mean, I can't even imagine. I can't. I no. I can't. I I mean, I just can't imagine. And that. like I but, said, I mean. I've missed I've uh, always felt now for the last year I've felt like there's a chance that she's going to come back. I I, I, I do too. I, mean, I have felt I that didn't too. think it for a, the first year but I do now and I think mm -hmm. that she's going to need help. She's going to need a lot of therapy um and a yeah. lot of love but she I've got a funny feeling that she's going to get away only because I feel like she is very feisty like me. And people yeah, are I think that too. Her. I do. Yeah, she does she's feel feisty. like she's feisty. And she's got a yeah. strong spirit and a strong will. Strong will. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's what you've got to have to get away. Yeah, you do. And you've, sure. got to, uh, you've got to know that if you get caught, you're likely going to be in a lot of trouble. And I mm -hmm. did get beaten so bad for the few times that I got away and they brought me back there. Come on, but Auntie I never Terry. worried. I but never there are worried. some of those kids that they're like, you know what, it's worth the risk. Like, yeah, like and if I get just to have a will second, not. they won't some, do it. But some are like feisty and they're willing to do it not just for themselves but to help everybody else. Oh well look at that little misty girl and that little Shayla. That little Shayla she saved her own life. Too bad she couldn't save her, <coughs> her brother. So oh, the, thing is, <coughs> the thing yeah. is I feel like you, there's just a moment that comes and you think this is it. You know I've yep. got to see this moment. You'll either jump and for it and seize it or it will shrink back. Yep. And luckily she messed up quite a few times you know there was a few times I was too scared and there was a few times where I thought this is it I've got to do it yeah, yeah. and I think that Summer will you know if she's out there she she's gets... going to do it she'll do it if yeah, she's out there pray. in that she will do it I'm telling you we need you, to pray I for her to get opportunities opportunities and God to give her favor and for her yes. to get away from there while and she's little, like, yes. how old is she now? Seven. She's seven now. Seven. So, years, y'all. Second you know, grade. I started this out to be a bash prayer garden justice for all in them, but now it's actually been a good live. <laughs> it's actually <laughs> turned out to be a pretty good live, so I'm going to have to change the thumbnail yeah. on it. I don't uh, like Apparently, um, Snow was saying that they're over there talking about me or some Oh, Prayer uh, I, uh, 
Justin I, or them. I don't even know them. I've never Justin gone near them. I did. I did used to like Doug until he put that photo of the girl up, and I was like, you know what? This isn't for me. I don't like. Any Justin of that is stuff. making up any lies that he can. He Justin is going to doesn't and know me. I've never they followed said, them. They said Justin was over there saying that Don's ex-wife's daughter's husband was a pedo. Well, what the hell does that have oh anything to do with Don? Do you know my, my neighbor, neighbor, my neighbor's a pedophile? I lived, my, my neighbor's husband was a pedophile. Like my brother, sister, uncle's aunt, sister's yeah. once, twice, watch your yeah. watch like I live yeah. next door to a pedophile, and I have to just ignore I mean, it. They hey, have Sarah. the FDA. Hey, Yanni. Hey, Miss Hey, Daisy. I need to give. Uh, I need to. I need to make an, uh, a public apology, okay. even though it was it was a private conversation. But about what? I, uh, I uh, doubted Miss Daisy today a little bit. <laughs> yes, I did. I said her yeah, some pretty, there about? pretty yeah. staunch, pretty staunch messages, and uh, I want to apologize publicly for doing you. that. And uh, right. even though it was a private conversation, if she knows how much I love her, I know Auntie Sherry. And I, uh, I just did. I, I just okay. kind of went. I, I went off the rails for a minute. Well, too. I know you're getting your feelings, Auntie Sherry, Maybe and I'm David Dobson um, is. Yeah, I'm so very, so very so sensitive, Miss Daisy. Extremely. I know. I love you, Auntie Sherry. But what you don't understand is, I have a lot of people that text me throughout the day, and and uh, a lot yes, of people I know that. throughout God, the day. Daisy and, pees me off and we fight and then I love her and then we yeah. fight and that's just the way well, it is. Well, no, we that's have never, we've never that's stopped loving each other. It's just that she pisses me off sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she pisses me off sometimes. <laughs> well, well, if I did, when she was friends with her and asked her I about the messages she got from me. She just was. Friends, oh, and she got one of She's got one of those personalities that every now and then you're going to get pissed at. You know well, the thing is, I sit up all night with my daughters, and, and I have to get up early in the morning, so I don't get to sleep. So I sleep, like, till 2 o'clock in the day. Justin the Ford, the he's a brown nose. <laughs> I got, I got, so I got a lot going on. So I know Amy <laughs> Sherry texts me, and I don't get a chance to text her back, and Auntie Sherry gets mad at me. <laughs> yeah, I got. I sleep like. I two. like your little thing under your well, name, Daisy. I sleep like two. And Miss Sherry, did you just get a little bit of 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 you little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little no, not you. I want heart to touch it. Like uh, I get a lot Sherry, of you were Erica's great. It. She's a great caregiver, y'all. The best in talking, the world. You were talking to somebody today, and I told her to give you my phone number uh, when she talked to you. So I don't know if she gave you my phone number or not. Did I give you a silence phone number? It was, uh, I have I'll, I'll have to go back and look. I, I get today. so many damn messages all damn day, Miss Damn Daisy. Oh, I don't day. have damn time to read them all. Of them. I'm sorry, Miss Daisy. Daisy only hears from me when I'm mad about something. I'm like Daisy, blah 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 blah, and then I get it off my chest. If you want to, that's how that much did I message that. you about prayer garden, but Daisy, how much? Oh my lord. <laughs> Well, I, oh, I actually have you got her on your channel. I rescheduled it. Why did they let that woman out? Why did they let her out of wherever she was? I don't was. know, but she won't leave me the hell alone. <laughs> and that's why I was going to make her I don't want to know why they let her out. I was going to make a know. video about it because oh. I... I was so tired of hearing her mouth run and oh, run and run. It's so it's like, never, it's it's like a, it's like a, it's like a, about, it really make like I don't care. It's if like nails on a chalkboard annoying oh, her friggin' voice. Wait till it, I get my wig. Wait till I find my wig. There's a meme. Oh. Uh, there is a par 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 parody or whatever it is. 
on Justice parody. for All. Yeah. Oh, I'm really? gonna do a parody oh. on him. Let me I get my seen name. that of you. I mean, I don't like him, but that was kind of funny. My bad. Well, and funny. I don't Can think it was really because I, I just my tablet just it. told me to go closer to my router. But if I knew what a router was, I'd get close to it. You're fine. Even it's though I mean, mind. even though <laughs> I don't like when they say things about how Daisy looks or way below her. I don't like Justin. Think it's... I don't like him. But I He's did like... laugh when I saw that. Not because I was laughing at you, Daisy, I mean, but funny, because it but was I'm just very saying... funny. When he goes out with the cars and they're vicious, Yachty, and he goes, me, he's right with them. Yachty, to me, how long have I loved you? James, I, I have loved her. Yachty since the very beginning. She oh, yeah. Been yes, a, Neil, Yachty's no. been gone for a while. Yachty comes back. She and Miss Daisy make up. She goes away for a while. <laughs> she comes back. Every time she comes back, I only I'm fight like, with her when she's got the witch you, around. I love you, Yachty. I wish you'd stay around. Well, she better not bring the witch back. <laughs> she's like, no, I'll stay around. Well, she brings I'll the stay witch home. back. I'm going to be so mad. She's like, I'll we stay don't around. Care. As long as the witch stays away. We don't around. care which witch, but don't bring her back. That don't witch bring her back. Bad decision. I've about, I've I almost itch. got Miss Daisy trained. Almost itch. ever trained. A bitch itch. She's a can. No, she made no, your no, your no, she Daisy. made your um a, channel look a, so bad, Daisy. I know, and you I was should have listened to me I when I told her. you. <laughs> I didn't want to fight with her no more. I was like, and but she was taking over. Sailor, would you go get me a beer, please? Exactly, <laughs> Daisy. <laughs> I knew that <laughs> you were just <laughs> trying to keep the peace, but every <laughs> time she talk about trafficking, it was like I felt like. Killing her. I know. Every you time she said, Trafficking is when you get snatched off the street. Oh gosh, no, please don't do that, Yachty. And I'm like, bitch. When she goes, um, when she's that doing like, um, right, right, y'all can just back it up, right? I mean, I'm just going to tell mm -hmm. you right now. Oh, uh, Taylor, right? you do it. This is the same. That's she does a perfectly God bless. <laughs> right? Like, God, God bless, right? right? <laughs> Say like you do the best. I'm melting. I'm melting. I'm melting. <laughs> <She's saying laughs> <like you. laughs> Help uh, me, I'm melting. I'm melting. But you know what the part is? The part that really gets me is Justin. Was I'm over here in my chat talking shit about her right. before yeah. he went over and, and he got right a bug on live calling out. When he went over in prayer garden, started bashing me to prayer garden after he went on my chat and acted all goody two shoes. And he acted like he loved he you. Doug and Josh have a fight. Like Are they now best death. friends? He What's going like he, on? He acted I like he know. loved you, and then went over there. He went. Right over there. Where yeah, he's the biggest yeah, 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 yeah. ass. Daisy is. Daisy is stupid. That's Daisy why I put sleep under his nose in the thumbnail. <laughs> you know that he's called jaundice. That's what his nickname <laughs> is because he's always orange. Like, she I have not done anything to them freakos. No, you haven't. I mean, mama. if he was to say stuff about me, I'd go, all right, then. Well, I did call him jaundice. I did. Oh, I, did say, oh, yeah. I did say things. So if he was to talk about me, I'd go, "Oh well, <laughs> that was overdue." But I mean, I don't. I've never really said that much, but I have laughed at a few jokes. You can only you can only take so much. Yeah, well, well I mean, he yeah. was kind of funny until he started coming. And after Josh, me, like, Josh about, comes but, over here and like funny. Daisy, I really care about you. And then goes over there. Oh, Yachty. No, no, Yachty. Right. You do Justin and say, like, you do PG. Y'all okay. do it great. Act okay. like you're having a conversation yeah. together. Okay. Absolutely. I'm going to do it. God uh, bless. Yanni, you do uh, the other one. I'll do PG. What's the other one? Uh, uh, Justin. Oh, Justin. Can you do Justin? Oh, jo 
Jobness. Johnny calls him Jobness. Hi, Jobness. <laughs> yes, well, I just find it very annoying that Daisy would be over there making friends <laughs> well, with I'm gonna the well. I'm going to tell you what. The Chopra with sisters, the well. they could just and back the that well. ass up. And you know that the wells know where their daughter is well, yeah, because you know they're Justin, criminal masterminds. Justin, you know, they can just back that ass on up and they can and draw right that on the ass. And yes, right. and my right. 24 right. glasses. Right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Have you seen You're my Gucci You're glasses? Right. Summer's right. Channel. And I'm Dolce and, and Cabana. Dolce and Cabana. Justin, I won't sell my oh, soul. You know, oh, oh, my God. Yes. You know, oh, my, my husband and I, we have several oh, foster God. children. And oh, um, yes, oh, that's Justin. what I do. And they're in my oh, yeah. care. Oh, that's a good oh, man, oh, Justin. Oh, oh, my gosh. Justin, I, c- I, I tell you. Oh, so pray God. And I just <laughs> bought a new Gucci bag. Do you love it? Oh, it's yes. wonderful. Oh, Justin, you know how I love the finer things in life. This is Summer's Channel. So all oh, the God money bless that we you. make. Oh, God, God bless you. you. We got to show her, y'all. We got to show her. Hang on. God bless you, Fred. You're cool. the only one that has ever really cared about Summer. This right. is the real I can't right. believe Daisy is over there. Daisy, oh, she just keeps running her mouth. She can back that ass on up. I'm just she, tired of her. I'm oh, so Daisy, I mean, her. I mean, Daisy, she just doesn't understand that we know, we know I'm what happened to, to Sarah, and I know and, she knows. And they think, <laughs> they, they, think they know where I am. They think they know where I am. They don't know nothing. Prayer garden ain't gonna put around for that shit. I'll just tell you right now, I ain't putting up with nothing. Prayer, prayer garden, I don't put up with that. Now I'm telling you, prayer garden don't play around. I oh always talk God. about myself in the third yeah, person like that. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, prayer God, and I understand exactly what you're saying. I mean, I don't understand where Daisy gets off. I had my Tom Ford glasses on today, and I had my Dolce and Gabbana bag with me, and I I used the new Mac makeup, and it looks fabulous. Don't you think so, Prayer Garden Girl? Don't you think? I know. I don't buy. I don't buy a pocketbook unless it's uh, at least two hundred dollars. Oh, oh, of course, darling. I mean. Two hundred dollars is cutting it short. I mean, I spend I about five on mine. I, 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 I love my Christian Dior. It's but but so you know, wonderful. but you know, but you know, just the best spontaneous I've got, charity I've ever heard in my life. I've got it's to have good. that it's money best, for my weenies, best. Justin. I need to record this. I mean, just you know, I've got to have my weenies because whenever I don't have my cold weenies. Then I have to start calling Dawn up again, and then Candace gets so damn mad at me. Well, I hope I'm invited to the honeymoon. I think I'm honey. Where are you having What's that the honeymoon? Plan? Are you going to <laughs> Are you going to Cancun? Where are okay. you having the honeymoon? She is I, well, creepy. I can't, I mean, I I can't tell everybody where I'm having a honeymoon because you know how everybody is. I mean, they want to know where prayer garden is all the time. I mean, I'm not allowed to have a moment to myself. I mean, you know. And then, then Jody Sauce comes along and she's like, yeah. I don't, know. Don't, be, don't be talking about Jody Sue you. because she's my best and friend I had now. The I don't get any information out of her. Now, listen. Uh, I record everything. Hold on, let me line up the cigarette. Because right, she's been backing that ass I'm, up. I swear I've got a wig that's got red in the front, black in the back, like that. That is fucking. Oh, I'm getting me a wig. I'm gonna play Justin. 
I'm gonna play a play real Justin. good Justin. Oh yeah. Go on, do it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right, Sayla. You're pretty oh, good right. at prayer garden. If you you are. If you're pretty good at that. Absolutely. You know, you know, I'm doing exactly yeah. everybody says all this is me. No, it's not right. because those three freaking look right. 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 I wish yeah. I could find that record. I, I'm not going for Josh because I don't know if Josh. I'm going to be sick. Right. But I just heard him over, and I've heard I'm her. Right. Just go to sleep after ass. this. He's hanging right onto her ass, is what he's now doing. Listen, you know what? Oh, he's not he's a dingleberry. <laughs> That's where what did, we call it in Australia. In the old days, in the older days, we called it riding on somebody's coattail. Right, we could nobody on my ass, he's tied up in the backyard. We could allow get these people to get ass ass mad, ass and we're gonna laugh at them, and we're gonna laugh at I them. I care less about uh, <laughs> Justin Peral. He sits over and makes fat jokes with prayer garden all the time. Oh, that's like so yes. I mean, I mean, I mean you know what, prayer garden, if you're listening, you are one ugly son of. And let me just tell you, Daisy can lose weight, honey, but you can't you can't get any better than that dark heart that you have. You can't change that. Honey, you can lose weight. You can't get rid of that darkness inside of you. He knows I I, he knows ugly bananas. (laughs) You ugly. Hey, Brett Garden, you ugly. You ugly. You G L Y and you ain't got no alibi. alibi. You ugly. Hey, hey. <laughs> I mean she's ugly inside. And you know yes. what? Outside it doesn't out. matter because if the inside's ugly, you ugly are ugly. Both of right. them are ugly inside. Right. They are. They're very inside ugly. Inside is where if you are ugly inside, nothing else matters. Your face is so beautiful, Daisy. You can lose weight. It's okay for him to sit over and fat shame people and make fun of people's weight. Yeah, exactly. Right? But he's sensitive about a banana. A banana? I eat bananas all the time. I need potassium. (laughs) <laughs> I need some potassium <laughs> I'll just put it in my Tom Ford bag I and my Gucci sunglasses you know he sits over on prayer gardens and they sit and laugh and a bunch of devils don't come in here with your I, I don't listen to them but the clip channel show me some really funny stuff <laughs> I I like I love the clip channels taking bits out because they then I don't have to watch too. the whole thing. They click the yeah. shit out of me, but you know I, I can show I you. I don't see too many like, going I'm, after you, Daisy. Let me show you. No, they do go after me. But when I don't you were with Prayer Garden, yeah, I did. Yeah, I think. Well, Prayer Garden. But listen to him. I want y'all to listen. Oh, there's a commercial. Hang on. I want you to hear oh, what to listen to these bull crap last night. Oh, the girl. Devil. Hang on. She like she made she put my picture up and he was like here it is. Oh, right, right there God. in his pipe. Oh, hang on. She makes your, these your, your face is a million times better looking than hers. I don't know what she's talking about. Oh uh, yes. Uh, oh, here it is. Here it is. Summer is that um, I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna, we'll get on that subject as soon as I um I as soon as I play Love Scorpion um the cowbell. Fun of me. But I got a fever, and the only prescription is more cowbell. Right. Yeah, Justin. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate that. I appreciate it. God bless. Hang on. <laughs> do the data. Oh, do the data. <laughs> oh my god. You like do the data. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, your face is a million times better than yeah, us. <laughs> yeah. We got we got Calvin over here too, folks. <laughs> oh, Scorpio, thank you, honey. God bless you. <laughs> there you go. Thank, thank you, darling. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love your invitation. Really awesome. That's a scrap button. Yeah. Help me be on my channel. <laughs> Almost a thousand, y'all. <laughs> we can sell more cow t shirts. Yeah. No, it's weird, Gordon, because my shit don't sell. Yeah, <laughs> 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 to sell PG shit because my shit don't sell. <laughs> Nobody wants to wear cow. 
Nobody next week, it. next week, I hear at the dumpster they're going to have uh, you know messed up T-shirts that I can get, and we'll sell them. Shut up, yeah. Jaundice. <laughs> I I think the ones with egg on is going to go for the highest price, y'all. <laughs> You're right, Kevin. Oh, oh, she is beautiful. I know her face to face. Summer's like name. Summer's name here is tagged in it. Summer's name. But yet they don't even freaking don't know, steal it, but <laughs> they don't uh, say the word the The shirts might have some bleach stains on them, but <laughs> they'll be fine. Tell me for only forty nine ninety nine. Please you can have one. Uh, uh, Somebody will sign it. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah. Yeah. I've seen that girl. I I bring you back. Summer's name, they're bring talking back. about her mama yeah. no. like um, that. Yep. Any other topics we can get on? The about Don saying. Uh, oh, they can't be up on the roof. Yeah, it was the, the night before. That's oh. the last thing he ever did this summer. So, <laughs> There's no yeah. inhale. There's no inhale that, that the kids were up there. Right. Get on the roof. Okay. Goes on there now. Jinkies goes on there and fights with him. I want y'all to listen. Oh to boy, him. that was a good fight too. Jinkies held her on. Come on, let me see. Oh yeah, I heard that one. And Lisa, that's oh, the only. She only she play, it, play, play it. Play it. Play it. I missed play it. that she one. She held her on. There's another one with all of them on there. Who's on the <laughs> side? And they booted her. Oh, now I should up there. Thank y'all. I thank you. Thank you for supporting my name. Thank you. 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 Thank yeah, I got no volume up. Hey, make it fun of me. It might have been me. Stupid Daisy, okay, beautiful face. <laughs> that must be <laughs> nice. I have one, say, I have one question. Crazy ass Pam up yeah, there. Okay. okay. At the first interview. Ooh, creepy, creepy, creepy. Where was Josie and Dawn? I don't want to hear Why wasn't it Dawn and Candace? I can't say it. That's what the normal. Well, that's Who's not the bottom of that, Daisy? I can't take that either. Uh, Hunter, Who's not to say anything the about the bottom... point of the, the person. You know, you came out of there a lot earlier than that. You know for a fact you did. And she told him, um, no, she didn't. She don't know who, you know, oh, where they're getting that from. Oh, but, you know, she only came out once. That was her story. She yes. to it. If they were going to arrest her, you know, then let her know. If not, she wanted to leave. She wanted to leave. So, I you know, and then she was in, you know, away. interrogation again. Interrogation. Mm -hmm. And um, when she got back to the vehicle, you know, um, she was really, like, broken down. She was all all, all angry, upset, cussing. And um, at this, about the same time, me and Don both asked her, what, what's going on? What, what's the matter? And she said, then Mother Effers said that I came out of that driveway more than once, and they have proof of it. And I told them, I told them, I didn't come out of there but once, but once. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Yeah. And, you know, when she said that, the song hit, you know, the song hit me. And, you know, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. So I started laughing, you know, because of the song. And the yeah, song started laughing. So you were yes, in while wow, Candace told she that really story too. Is. And, um, and then, you know, Candace terrible. started laughing she as well. So person. all of us were, you know, we were laughing, but... The point being is, law enforcement told her, Please right? Kansas they told her that she, she came out of there. Out like, so mouth, it is what it is. Well, yeah, I, know they, I know they have surveillance. I know they know who was in, who was out. They, they know. They know. I'm not worried at all about justice for some reason. Really Where's Jinkies? I want to hear Jinkies. I want to hear their ass. I want to hear Jinkies, Jinkies too. Jinkies let them have great. it. I hate giving Jinkies that Jinkies let them have it. And I loved it. I sat there and yeah. I laughed yeah. so hard. Yeah. Well, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. so one of the things is that, like, no. Hypocrites, man. Oh my God! Do you support Don Do you support Don as well? Hey, if he wants to, if he wants to answer the hard questions for summer, if he wants to answer the hard questions for summer, yes, he can come on this panel. Come on this panel if he wants to answer the hard questions for summer. But do you support him? Are you taking up a four thousand three hundred dollar collection for him? Oh my God! I don't take up questions for nobody. She's so stupid. Where's that where I come from? Yeah, it's not Jinkies. It's not Jinkies on that. It's not no, me. That's, that's a white boy from the PP farm over there. Or the PP planet. I wish <laughs> 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 Yeah, but the, but the question, hey, uh, Jinkies, I mean, she did ask you a question. Are you going to answer it? What am I answering? Do you still support Don Wells? Josh, you have him on your panel. Do you support him? No, 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 no. No, no, no I do no, not, no, I do not support him. No, Do you have him on your panel? Do you the support no. him? The answer is no. Do you think they both have him on your panel? The answer is no. panel one time. I said the answer is no. Josh is busy. So why do you have him on your panel? I want to I want to say something since he's run that mouth now and I've seen that he has run his mouth. Uh Prayer Garden has a video out. I'm gonna find that some bitch. If anybody's got it and clipped it, please send it to me. 
where Josh scammed one of his mods was having a yes, relationship he did. with one he of did. his mods. And yep. he scammed her like what? Thousands $8, of dollars. $12,000. <coughs> Their oh on her panel. Yeah. And he, it's recording of him talking about it. Yeah, I saw my yeah. saying that was a while yeah. ago, right? Yeah. Wow. Yes. Yes. And she played it, honey. Yeah, she had he no sexualized the whole situation so with her. Stand up for well. Josh and, 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 and stay with the devil. You better watch your back and you better be careful because she bites. She bites hard. Oh, yeah. I she bite turn too. on Justin. And Justin does I bite, so. I've got my real teeth. I bite the hell out of it. Uh huh. Oh, I've got beautiful $30,000 my, <laughs> my name is not Pest, by the way. It, y'all are dyslexic. It's Pets. Yes. Pets. Not and my uh, teeth are fake, but I paid a I lot of money and they look good. The <laughs> I, you have. You're listening to a, a, a shit show over there under Summer's name. How exactly. dare not ask Jenny? I don't think she and ever said she that. Uh, the time. Then yeah. she bagged the mother of the child that they're cashing in on. Yes, oh, thank yeah. you. That's what makes yeah. me so mad. I'm like, what about when Summer's people... found? Are those boys hear this? You know, they're going to hear this one day. I think well, Summer's going to find her herself. And when she does, yes, I, I hope think. this stuff is not around for her to see because I don't want They're her ruthless. to see prayer gardens full crap. They're uh, ruthless. Ah, did you read the chat? Junkies saying? is trying to get PG pissed off to get her cussed in order to get PG a third strike. So there's someone in there that she's had two strikes. Prayer garden, she's going in to her chat. Somebody said that in her chat. Her her chat. And take her down. I'm going to stop the channel. Mm. No, no doubt. Yeah. She, she's going to be the next Molly going on her panel. PG doesn't support you when you're on her panel. So, yeah, yeah. Bye-bye. Not that I'm bragging, but I God bless. Yeah. Bye-bye. Like Kinky bless. me secretly, right, Kinky? I love you, PG. Secretly. <laughs> I mean, you're not, why ask anymore? You won't, you won't answer it later. I, I'm just saying, I mean, I mean everybody has him on their panel. That doesn't, you support him if you Jenkins, that doesn't mean we're supporting him. I don't know, Don West. I know, but that, you think that having him but up on the panel, you think that having him up on the panel, you support Can Can? You support Can Can? I do. Okay. okay, so so I do. I don't know. So there's your answer that she doesn't support business. me. But I just I do know Candace. What's in any of your business, Jezebel? We all do. We all do. Jezebel. <laughs> What's in any of your business? Exactly. <laughs> That's what I call him is Jezebel. Jesse. <laughs> What's love? Oh, I'm joined us like the old Blair calls them all out. Never What's been a big love? I was Justin, get coach. some different makeup. You look orange, dude. That's what I said. And that blue eyeshadow. Oh, come on. That's back in the 70s. Oh, oh. my goodness. Come on. He ain't no. But the thing is, is like he gets mad if somebody says anything about him or anything like that. But you can fight shame people. Right, That's exactly. not right. You can I just, I've, never, not, I've never fought with him. Because we have a different where he view on things doesn't mean that I you have the right to know where he bought his lipstick. He is a snake. He, you got to tread lightly. Oh, right? he, he, he goes and does the rounds on everyone's channel. And then uh-huh. talks about them behind their back. You don't have Molly go lightly no more to hang out. <laughs> he had Molly and go he soon won't have prayer garden because she's on her way out. I'm telling you. Oh, don't worry. Oh, prayer yeah. garden will, will strike at him oh, and Josh, Josh again. She's had. She's she done is too not much. loyal to nobody. Nobody. And as else. soon as she's gone, he'll say he's stuff like about her. her. I, let's no, see. I gone, say Justin is a rattler. He never had I call him a rattler, but Prayer Garden's a freaking viper. Yeah, two different kinds of snakes. Definitely you know what I'm agree with you. She Definitely. will bite him, honey. Bite him hard. Mm-hmm. Oh so, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I just have to state how I feel about them. No, like, sure. I have it's come like, after me. Don't it hold is. anything back. And Let it out. I got the poison. I hate her. I'm not. I it's hate, 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 uh, hate. Yachty, I have always loved her. you, and you know that. I love you, too. 
And you know, and I hate prayer garden. I have never been against Nothing in the world will make me change my mind. I hate it. Yachty. I loved your (laughs) soliloquy. I loved your soliloquy. You did straight straight to her face. I yeah. loved it. When you she will on, stop at nothing. She and you us. said we have it you, on. We have it on video that. where she threatened us. If you didn't watch Yachty tell PG off, you better she watch it. Us. That's one of the best things I've oh, heard. Oh, I give I give it to her yeah. on the video. Oh, oh she she did. Clear did. One thing Yachty, else, I need to say I would shove a banana up her. his tail. That's a damn lie. I said he'd like to have one up his tail. <laughs> And do you know that all of her little followers message that video I'm like, like leave Prayer it. Garden alone, leave her alone. And I was like, well, tell her to stop soon. talking about Daisy and I'll leave her alone. And just when, she stops, when she stops talking I've about you and Jenkins, I'll ignore her. I've actually tried to keep trouble down. And then yeah. last night they went bash, bash, and bash. You know what? That's why I actually put my live off another day because I was like, things are kind of quiet right now. I'm not going to stir nothing back up. Yeah. And I'll be doggone. I'm having it tomorrow now. Because yeah, that video that enough. I made last week, Daisy, I said, I said, prayer garden, shut your mouth, leave Jenkins and Daisy alone, and then I will ignore you. Like right. I have done over got, the yeah. last two years, brings, go back but she go won't. Back and watch Yachty. That brings, go back and watch Yachty. That's a good listen, statement. I see you, Justin's little mod that does his dirty work for him. She was on. Um, uh, she texted prayer or uh, Candace and tried to get Candace to be friends with her. Uh, I, I told Candace, I said, "That's that is Justin's little." Dirty little scamp. <laughs> I just hope that oh, Don listened uh, to what I said how, today and are you friends stays with away. Are you I hope friends? Don listened and Jesus stays away her. from them. I Perfect. really do. She's oh, as dirty you. as he is. On, um, but I think the, Don was kind of listening today, up. Daisy, when I said stay uh, away from them, they're trouble. I think he kind of yeah. listened. I hope he does, but I don't I know. I hope so, too. I because he he's too. wasting his energy. He's wasting his time. Yeah. Even bothering with them people. Well, yes, they, because they're they a waste try, of space. They gaslight yeah. him. They get him up there on purpose to make him mad on purpose so that he shows out. So they get all these clicks. Ooh, so yeah. everybody will run over there and see. And they're doing it on the back of a missing baby's uh, oh, father. Missing baby. And I just think it's sick. And it's then calling sweet. it Summer's Channel, and they do her parents like that and talk about uh-huh. the Wells this and the Wells that. And I'm like, Summer's last what? name is Wells. Do you forget that? Yeah. I know. They Even do. though me and Cher yeah. aren't talking and all of that stuff, Cher does stick up for Don and Candace. She really does. She, I've seen her fight. And even though we're not talking and all of that, I know yeah. that she does try to protect them and I've seen her do it for the last two years and even though we're not you know like Daisy you know I've spoken to you I Mm. don't think that she's got that bad intentions like people think she has she she sort of sticks up for them and she defended him against Dudley that day right so well you know what I don't understand is why um numb thinks like Don says he has suspicions of him he I do too. Suspicions of him being on something, allegedly. I, I, everybody says it. Everybody and thinks because how can you come on that many times a day? Like he's on right now, and I mean you I'm mean, like, he, and he just makes up random shit. The guy in the car. He thinks he's something special. Like he he talks mm-hmm. about people's looks and stuff as well. Oh yeah. <laughs> And he's constantly putting other women down, and that really annoys me because I'm sorry, he's just not that good looking. I mean, no. I'm sure he's not. for him not to be all. doing that. Any man wants to put down a woman, you just look at him and you say, Son, if it weren't for women, you wouldn't be here. Exactly. So, I love and my it's not just that. I mean, he's he got man on like he's he's always really hard hard women. You wouldn't be here to put us. Put us down I in the music. I can't help it, y'all. Y'all can judge me all you want, but when people come after you, you've got to fight back. You, you can't got let the them right to stand yeah, up. Yeah. You cannot let them gain yardage. 
And if right. you don't stand up for yourself, Daisy, nobody and, else will. And Daisy, and you know right. what? I can tell but you this, will. and I'm not saying this to up. kiss your ass in any way. Uh -huh. Your face compared to Prayer Garden is a billion times much prettier. You're more natural. This hag Thank is you. disgusting. And, no, don't call you know, her a like I, his weight is a something that a lot of people battle with. I even have weight problems myself. Hey, I can and lose the weight. She can't lose the ugly. She can't lose right. the ugliness in her soul. That's what she can't That's lose. Right. Exactly. See, there's a cow farting on her right there. And you, <laughs> Daisy, and you, Daisy, you're good inside, which means that the, your outside is good. So you'll go on and be happy. This bitter, twisted She's old bag. Mm -hmm. Oh, Who's could you imagine that the misery? What's She's she miserable. Who's that that is the true face of prayer garden without her teeth. Let me tell y'all what's wrong. True face of prayer garden without her teeth. Can, let's, and she let's, remember she said she was in her thirties and she's got beautiful big white teeth. Well, uh, right. evidently not. Maybe over in the denture cup. I mean, I've got Where beautiful go? big white teeth. They cost <laughs> me thirty grand. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm just joking about my it. Teeth I don't aren't pretty about anything. But I, I gotta get it out because she sits over there if and that's you're all dark she inside, you're ugly and you're right. ugly in a way that can't be changed. That's you're how right. that's all you're I'm gonna say. Ugly. Right. Ugly inside, inside makes you ugly. ugly. And Justin is inside ugly. He will stop at nothing. And oh, he's a he's, he's a pretentious little stuck up, you know, he's he's, he's, he's Molly. Brat. He's just Molly in a male version. Yeah. Hey, yeah. darling. Is yeah. That, oh my. And 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 he's another one that calls women ugly. And oh, she's that. Hello. Look at yourself. So before you judge others, I mean, come on. I don't care if they call me ugly and stuff. I think it's funny. I laugh. I After think break. It's I love it. I say, go ahead, call me ugly, fat. I don't care. You did, Virginia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> More like ahead. him sucking her toe because he's right up her ass over there. Uh, oh, the uh, uh, guy that has the toe fetish. Uh, no, just as strong. He's got a banana Crystal. fetish. She's <laughs> an Australian, and she knows that when somebody's crawling up your butt, we say dingleberries, because you uh -huh. know how sheep have the yeah. So that's what we say. Yeah, yeah. he's her dingleberry. Hey. He can dish it out, but he can't. Oh. Yeah. And Prayer Garden, she act like she's so uh, badass. No, Paragon. You're a keyboard no. warrior. A keyboard warrior that goes behind people's back and does dirty shit behind people's back. Like trying to get people's jobs and everything else. But oh wait. Oh wait. We know who you are now, Prayer Garden. We know exactly who you are. Oh bat. Prayer Garden is feral. He's just a feral. I hear an echo. How do you do? Crystal, she's a chat. He's a chat. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> She's a gronk, Crystal. She's a gronk. <laughs> Crystal knows all these words. <laughs> They're all the words. I'm not we just say. Sit back and take it because I've not done anything for them to to be over. And Josh no. too. And Josh too. Josh if came over there that saying that he likes you. I mean, Stacey, I really like you. I have nothing against <laughs> you. And then he's over there at the Witch's Channel. Exactly. Yeah, no. Fuck. Them. Oh, excuse exactly. me, you know them. I just they just pee, pay me off, and then I start cussing. And I, oh, oh I, have yeah. to, I have to say, Yanni, if I have to hear anybody cuss, you do it so elegantly. I, I love see. when you said they can kiss my ass. They can kiss my ass. Yes, my ass. 
That was so. That was we so say off. We yes. say a r s e, not yeah. a double s. So no, yeah. we say no, off. I was like, that was the most fancy way I've that. ever heard it said. <laughs> <laughs> she she is my ass. Right. <laughs> she needs some Stop kind of medication. Sit. Sit. She probably take some, but it don't help. You know what? Daisy, I reckon after her live, she sits there and hates on herself. She pretends that she's oh. so confident and she's yeah. so, uh, you know, happy and she's so tough. Yeah. I say, oh, I'd, I'd like to take her down to my dad's reservation where he, he lived <coughs> and bring her in there. I reckon she'd be, she would pay her depends and she would cry and run. <laughs> Y'all, okay, I'm just going to ask just us women, just us women in here, how many in here think that she needs a good hot dog? That, that's oh, my wrong. God. That's, she that's, needs, that, that's she what's needs. wrong with her. Yeah. Girl, yeah. I really yeah. think she needs a good, a good romp in the hay. And I think. Oh, well, I said to my, needs. I said to my husband the other day, I was like, you need to take one for the team. And he's like, he goes, he's like, hell no. He goes, I'd rubbish to die. He goes, that's gross. <laughs> he's like, you do realize that men have to be excited to. I was like, form. yeah, that, there's that problem too. <laughs> yes. He's yes. Like, like, you need to take one for the team. There she is, Miss America. <laughs> Well, you know, Doug, <laughs> well, Doug, they put uh, a white boy, you know, white boy radio, they put Doug's little teeny weeny on there. So maybe Doug's teeny weeny in prayer garden can get together. <laughs> oh, probably. <laughs> oh, that, that oh, green 1960 makeup. I'm sick of her. You know, I don't like I'm to do so this. I'm so young and hot. Like after people. I don't. Who's who's got? A, did somebody have a, become a member? So, uh, somebody must have donated some. They said isn't they she a grown? They did. Chris, somebody. I can't grown. see memberships. Let me see. Did somebody give me a membership? Hang on. Let me see. Who was it? I don't know. What's the I'll thing? I'll I've not seen. I've anybody. been a member for how long? Like freaking I forever. Give anything. I think I'm two years. I think I'm. Two I know when still. people people thought that I wasn't a member of your channel when we had that little falling out. I was still a member. Really? Ah. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I've been. Uh, I can see you know what? My membership I know what ten you. months. I never left you and Jenkins. I just had to take a break because I was like, I was angry about you know who. It yeah. wasn't even about you, Daisy. You know from the messages what I said. I can't be around her. I can't. Right. Right. And I said, about if that means I have to leave to get away from her, I have to leave. And I told right. you that. Right. And well, people came really over that and they're toxic. like, you did this to Daisy. Oh. And I'm like, no, I didn't. I wish I could tell you something, Yachty. What? She dirty deleted her live that she threatened us on, but we yeah, got it all. Really uh, uh, oh, do you have it? Yeah. Are you want to listen? Look. Yeah, I'm I do want to listen. It's bad. And if it's I can. Bad. Yes, I'll Sherry. It just I'll, makes give you, I'll give you a hint. I'm over all 65 right. years old. And if somebody yeah. exploits me or uses my pictures without my, my formal permission, uh, they're in trouble. Yeah. It's called Adult Protective Services. You just mm -hmm. don't do that. Yeah. I have a case. I, she's already told me okay. I have a case. She said, I'll come to your house. You sign the paper, and you don't have to do another thing. We take care of it for you. Yeah. There's no going to court, no anything. What would be the point of doing that, making elderly people go in court and sit all day? I mean, yeah, think yeah. about it. It makes sense. Yeah. So uh, yeah. I've, already re I've already reported her, and you know, I've, I always give people chances. Always do. Not too many, right. but it, she yeah. said anyway. stuff about me and deleted it when she found out that my husband got a lawyer as well. She deleted Ooh, that as well. See? Well, you know, 
She deleted some stuff because she's uh, dirty. Deleted a lot, believe me. Yeah. Well, especially, my house, especially been, my house, been spiked to the paper. When I was on there, she dirty deleted. They actually it. got that far and spoke to. She did. Really? I'm glad y'all got that. She did. She got the other. She deleted, and I, she. I, I warned her. On you her name, was, I got it. <laughs> was it Daisy on your channel or Jinkies? Well, Daisy, went off. you said you got it. Yeah, I know who she is. It when kills me. That I you got what was she it dirty your channel? When she was talking about y'all, I'm saying. Is that, uh, no, I'm oh, yeah. talking about, I'm talking about something about that's real. But I can't remember whose live I was on, Jiggy's or Daisy's, where I went off on her. I mean, really. I'm talking about pointing oh, a finger and yelling oh, at her and telling her, 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 her and telling her she's in big ass trouble and. All it takes is one signature from me, and the ball starts rolling, and it goes from state to state. Yeah. It, right. There's no... Uh, well, yeah. You know, the reason why she got a strike is because my husband spoke to the actual people that were for YouTube. Well, that was your second and said, strike. That and was her said, second my strike. wife is a survivor of, uh, you know, I got the first trafficking. strike. And they they must have watched it because she got that strike about two days later. After she did. She got the strike. Is that why she, she wasn't on for all that time? That's yeah, that because my yes. uh, my husband had spoken to someone high up her in YouTube, husband, and that I did it. Before wow, that. she's yeah, been out two and times. He spoke to them and said, she's been out, "My she's wife's been out a twice. survivor, and this woman is." Um, talking about my wife and going, you know, saying things that, chop, chop. and then they, then the next thing I heard, she was gone. Look, Sayla, I could almost. Yeah, she didn't come on for a long time. I did it. Yeah, yeah you did it because he, he called, did take he her channel man. Success. Yeah, my yeah. husband. She said Such some really horrible stuff, lady right. Daisy. And he seen it, it and he said to me, look at this. And he played me like five minutes of it. And I was yeah, like okay. so upset. And he was like, he's like, no, nah, I'm not going to let this happen. I bet he and understood he what up, we're dealing with then. Oh, my God. He was just like so upset. He was so mad. I was worried. <laughs> like he was so angry. Yeah. And um, he said to me, it. I heard him the on line. the phone. She tried to get. She tried to get. Well, get, uh, that live that she uh, did no that on Daisy, that live was gone, and she was gone about two and days after mine, he spoke mine to was the, too. Mine wow. was too. She had me in the basement door of the of Wells house, uh -huh. and she had Miss Daisy laying out in the yard by I the bed. I seen that. I seen that. Do you remember that? Yeah. Uh, that's what really set me off. I'm like, you are trying to put me at in the Wells's house, and who mm -hmm. do you think you are? You, I didn't give you permission to use my picture on your what do you call it, your thumbnail or whatever the hell it is. I didn't yeah. give her any permission to do anything, mm -hmm. and so I had APS told me I had every everything. I had a case. Everything. I, mean, I, I want to show you. Her. This is uh, what she said. I'm serious. This is a threat. Now. I'm not playing about this now. I'm not gonna let it continue. There's Trust she, Sherry. Listen to Sherry this. Will, I'll do it. Hmm. She won't mention my name again. That's what I was telling no. her behind the scenes. There's the threat. No, she won't. Mean the same thing. No, she'd go to jail. That they should make it work. He was willing to try. She wasn't. Why? Because she's fucking old chill Billy. She was right? talking to Sun King behind the scenes. That's what it is. Effing, effing chill Billy. She's got some she dirty ass mud crawler. Crawling around up there with it. Chill Billy is exactly. A man a lot you know, of she's slipping old Joe through the fucking back door, we probably the front door and the side door and every other fucking door. I mean, look, the bitch is, is a house, right? She's big as a fucking house. Oh that's my, a, that's God. your favorite. Ed. We can see five guys and they would never meet up with one another, right? Right. She is something. That is that's not just a like about. And I'm tired of you guys running the fucking stuff on me. You need to shut the fuck up. You're shutting out here right because you fucking bitch ass put it out here. What you right. owe me is an apology, you but nasty like fucking it. fuckhead. But she's Don't come no, talking no, shit to me. Don't come talking shit to me. Quit talking shit about me. 
Okay, wait, wait, wait just a Who's minute, though. Box oh, but she's to allowed to minute. talk about everybody Who's else. that red right? box next to her? Listen, she, but this is how this, she gets so far red mad at Jinkies when Jinkies mentions her name in chat or her kid's name in chat. She starts threatening. Now you'll listen to the threatening here. Oh, yeah, and here it comes. Right? Is she lost, is she lost it? You need to shut the fuck head. up. You don't know listen me. To her. I know you. I know right where the fucking hell you live. Don't run your fucking set on me too much. This You're fucking with the wrong person. For real. <laughs> you can sit over there and you can think you got some badass pill billy. You don't fucking Ooh. know me. If I can you really that don't. And the way you like to run that fucking ass around in agitated. Kentucky, you better keep your fucking set shut. Listen to that. You and voice. your fucking nasty That's ass sister, right? Adjective. There you go. Yeah, I'm melting, there you I'm go. Melting. Both of what you are God. nothing but two pieces of fucking shit. Oh, You're a couple you pieces are, of fucking shit. And you're you suck so anybody's fucking fire, ass right? for the dog. Anybody's wow. ass for a dog. Well, ain't that something? You would turn on God himself. If it if if it would bring you some money, that's you're the type of people. You. If you were a preacher, it would be for the money, not the souls, really? right? No, that's no, you. That's you. you there you go. The that and that is the truth. Summer if I've day. ever told it, that, that is, is the, the fucking truth, and right? That there. is the truth. If I've ever told it, that's the truth. You stay behind that. You're church. nothing but freaking. That's the truth. Nasty ass. Kiss my <laughs> ass, bitch. Exactly. That's what she said. I will. I swear to God, Both you do nothing but waddle boiling. in the mud all the time. <clears throat> That's like what you, you do. You, no, you waddle in the mud constantly. The you you go like around trying to mud. beat people down to be constantly to make yourself you feel better. Well, if I look like you, I might have to do that too. Well, but I don't. No, you look well, like this. I absolutely don't. She's so you look ugly, just like this. Stick that in your fucking asses, okay? Put that in your fucking asses. In here, honey. Sorry, I'm sure there's plenty of room up the there. Honey, sorry, I'm not sorry. I'm sorry. I've got you big And you can stick that chill billy up your fucking ass, too, Jinky. You, you can stick that little motherfucker up your ass. Do you, you think somebody's worried or afraid of that? Fucking scroungel. Really? That scroungel looking you fucking mutt. Eyes. What's wrong you with got that? me bent, bitch. Oh, you got, got me oh. fucking bent. Oh, mm. Kiss the backside of PG's You've fucking ass. Spend, and it wouldn't honey, be an all day job like if somebody was punch. kissing yours. Oh, God. Oh, I could bye. blow her down. Could you imagine uh, this uh, witch lady here saying There you that, go. That voice. Oh, gets imagine her, her coming in my face. I'm tired of them bitches shit. Let me time. tell you that right she now. Got I'm done times. with she it. Got one more chance. I am done with it. I will come she to your did. fucking Put your in she You don't fucking game. know me. Listen to this. She's she You don't right fucking know me. Hang on, sure. You'd have to wear a friggin'. You'd have to wear you a raincoat around you. Fucking ass up. Beat, 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 beat. Get the fucking hell away from PG. No, you get the way. You stay away from them. I asked She's her. Nothing. I tried. I said, just leave them alone. And don't and we'll tell like, me what the fuck to do. But she Miss doesn't. Lazy. Calm, <laughs> TG. Don't tell me what the fuck to do. Thank you. You're all the reason a lot of this shit's going on. No, you, you are won't. nothing but a no. fucking troublemaker. Constant. Oh, wow. Constant. Jesus, Constant. Yes, honey. And your yes, bitch ass sister's devil. telling all of her fucking lies. Oh, Why? Because she couldn't get. Build her channel off of your boing ass fucking shit. She had to come medicine. try to get her exactly channel medicine. off of PG's fucking channel, right? And I don't know who your fucking Billy Ray is, Jinkies, oh, but you can stick nasty. him up your fucking Billy ass, Ray, too, okay? Up, bitch. Stick him so up bad. your fucking ass. Y'all, she and was spin on him. Lie. There you go. There you go. Now, listen. Listen to what Billy she says Ray. now. You don't know Billy Listen Ray. What... You don't know Kathy. Right. You don't know anybody. Yeah, Nancy Perry. Listen. All she does is run around trying to say, I got some first fucking son friend. named Billy Ray. No, I don't. Listen, she threatens about No, I don't. I don't have a son. I don't have a nephew. I don't have a fucking cousin. I don't yes, know no Billy fucking Ray. Listen, okay? Sherpy. So why don't you shut the fuck up? What Quit are you shut up? out here that we don't even know. 
You're picking on innocent victims. I know any better. I no, think we're victimizing you. some you know, person's <laughs> family. I don't think she likes you. Where the hell would you do that? Okay. Why would herself. you pick on somebody's mother? Her it's biggest somebody's you. brother. Oh, you. Maybe their dad. You. You're fucking disgusting. You're just fucking fat, blubberhead, disgusting. And you're right. just haggity and disgusting, I mean, and you need a lot of reason. They got a cream. fucking Bob G. They got a damn well, Billy G. They got a damn you're Kathy jail, G. Girl. They got all these fuck. Now it's a you're Billy Ryan and a fucking it's Pillbillies sure and all your kinds your of weirdos. A it's fucking you. Frankie. It's you. Come on. I know who she is. You guys are weird. Who you are. I, I have been been You sit around and make Ooh. shit up. I bet. Uh, she can hold a house. We know who you are. <laughs> she, can't hold, she can't hold her on with Billy Ray. She's probably the last yeah, dirty fucking night crawler. You was fucking jinkies. She's she horrible. Before Pillbilly. Probably you one know. that your old man don't know about. She's so You're just horrible. gross. Yeah, that's just You're gross. She's vile. Right? Vile. Yes, she is vile. If anything happens, I just saw her little baby and fucking deep dive a banana to try to get somebody interested in it. Oh my god! Right? No one wants you looking at you. And she looks like she. Oh my god! She's beautiful. Mr. This Jane country will soon gorgeous. be out of fucking bananas, everybody. Get all you do. can now for your potassium because we are going they to be out be of lost. fucking bananas with jinkies. She looked like she didn't only eat the bananas, but the whole fucking tree. Right? Uh, right. Right. We know you go. About the bananas That's how right. I feel about you, Jinky. You're such Why a you jealous? you jealous that she's got you go. something that you don't have? Right. <laughs> you're just a sad, sad bitch. That you can't have. Right, That's what you are. A sad, Amen, sad Yanni. bitch. Amen, you how'd you, how'd that one hit you? How did that one smack you in the side of the head, huh? She's mad because she's telling me. Wait a minute, go back, go back. I'll knock you in the side It's a little worse. Make it work. Jinkies don't come from vitamin D. That's what you're supposed to do. Right? That's what I was telling her behind the scenes. And I told her I'm doing the same thing. Right? That they should make it work. He was willing to try. She wasn't. Why? Because she's fucking old chill, Billy. Right? Are you jealous? Right. Bill Billy's That's quite accurate. handsome, actually. Are you jealous? I think she so. actually, oh, uh, jealous. She actually, uh, Jinkies has got a clip where she said that Chill Billy was good looking before Jinkies. He's, started he going. is quite handsome. There's oh, he's very handsome. Him. He's very handsome. Oh, he's, he's, very, oh, he's a yeah. precious man. He's well, a very and precious he's a man. good person. I, mean, I like love her. him so much. I love him so much. Yeah, yeah. He's a good person. I, I love him. I love Jinkies. They're like my kids. They're like think, my kids when they come see me. I think yeah, she's no. just jealous around. because Chill Billy's around and she can't get herself a man. Look at the head right. on her. And exactly. it's not even just the way she looks on the outside. It's who she it's is. Well, Could this, you uh, imagine this, sitting uh, around listening to that voice? No, yeah, day, that's no. my main concern. Who could stand that? Who Nobody could stand it? I'd Nobody. kill somebody. I'm afraid, oh, yeah. I'm afraid if she was married that uh, the person that she would marry would be on one of them shows. <laughs> For this is like one, no. <laughs> Where they have to marry her because right. otherwise they don't get the million bucks in one of those shows. <laughs> or, or one of the shows where the husband took out 500000 of life insurance. And then you are sure there's plenty of room. You're kill me, girl. You're killing me, girl. You're killing me, girl. The only way they marry her is if they they were gonna lose their million bucks. You can stick that little motherfucker (laughs) up your ass. You think somebody's worried or afraid of that fucking scoundrel? No, really? This scoundrel looking fucking mutt. I can't. You got me bent, bitch. You got me fucking bent. 
I get a hey, baby. With all Kiss my the baby. backside of Pinky's so fucking ass. And it wouldn't be an all day job like if somebody was kissing yours. And I'm serious. I Prayer Garden not long ago go on and on and on how you were so obsessed and how everybody on this channel was so obsessed with Tatas. Well, she's obsessed with asses. <laughs> like, she she's got nerve yes. talking about us talking about tie ties and yes. girls talking to each other. Look. She's talking about I want to put a rubber tree up your butt. No, we're, we're, ta- no we're talking about a woman yeah. showing man. I'm gonna show Miss Daisy my tatas just to be funny. Oh, it's, it's bad. Stuff. It's She's really a registered bad. nurse. She's a registered nurse. You got me like a fishy show or something? In a neonatal unit. Huh? How many top dogs do you think she sees? About 50,000 million about trillion, 587, 264,000 jillion trillion times. But that woman literally has sat here and named about 50 <laughs> things she's going to shove up people's butts. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> uh, she's a fudge packer, I guess. Yeah, I think, uh, she's so I think she majored in cussing in school. Probably. I think she majored in cussing and booty banding. I reckon, I, I reckon I that's why she's such a mean, wicked I old bitch. Go because she's always that. been the I'm one that's getting right that she needs to go. I'm done with Still, it. Oh, I'm she's done with it. I will come to your fucking dance. You don't fucking know me. You don't fucking know me. You better back that fucking ass up. Beep, 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 beep. Get the fucking hell away from PG. And don't tell me what the fuck to do, Miss Daisy. Tom PG. Don't tell me what the fuck to do. You're all the reason that a lot of this shit going on. I, you are I, nothing I, but a I, fucking troublemaker. Constant. Constant. Your bitch ass I, sister's I, telling I, all I, the I, fucking I, lies. Why? Because she couldn't get build her channel off of your booming ass right. fucking shit. Yeah. She had to you come try to get her channel off of PG's fucking shit. Right? And I don't know who your fucking Billy Ray is, Jinkies, but you can stick him up your ass too. Okay? Stick him up your fucking ass. And spin your on it. Son, Here you go. Oh, sailor. Here you go. Right. your son, cat. That is mm-hmm. the word of the evening. I All know. she does is run around trying to say, I got up some fucking son named Billy Ray. No, I don't. Up your no, I don't. Ass. I don't have a son. I don't have a nephew. I don't have a fucking cousin. Oh. I don't know no Billy fucking yeah, Ray. Yeah, you do. Okay? You have a son. Then why don't you shut the fuck up? Quit putting these people out here. Away from you, we you don't witch. even know. You're picking on innocent victims. You are victimizing oh, no, some. No, you're not even a victim. Why the hell would you do that? But Why would you pick on somebody's that. mother? Somebody's yeah. brother? Yeah. Maybe the dad. It was you, darling. It was you, we honey. Just fucking fat we know it's you. Just... I dare you to come right. after me. Right. I mean, I'm melting. I'm melting. They got a fucking Bob G. They got a damn Billy G. They got a damn Kathy G. They got all these fucking now it's a Billy oh, Ray and a yeah, fucking Billy. Yeah, yeah, that's kinds true. of weird. Uh, 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 she said uh, Billy uh, Jean. I think she's thinking of Michael Jean. Hey, Billy Jean is <laughs> not my tell, love. You can tell it doesn't bother her. Because that's what you're supposed to do. Right? That's what I was telling her behind the scenes. And I told Sun King the same thing. Right? That they should make it work. He was right. willing to try. She wasn't. Why? Because she's fucking old chill, Billy. Right? That's what it is. She's got some pretty ass mud crawlers going around up there. Exactly. Ass. You know, she's flipping old Joe through the fucking back door. Probably the front door and the side door and every other oh, fucking every door. I mean, look, I think it's big as a house, right? It's big as a fucking house. You can see five guys and they would never meet up with one another. Right? Oh, Sage is the devil. That's what I'm talking about. I'm tired of you, Jinky. He's running your fucking slut on me. You need to shut the fuck up. Your shit's out here because your fucking bitch ass put it out here. What you owe me is an apology. Don't come talking shit to me. Don't come talking shit to me. Quit talking shit about me. Right? No, I went you need to shut the if fuck up. You don't know me. I know you. I know where the fucking hell you live. Don't run the fucking shit on me too much. You, 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 you can think you got some badass pill, Billy. You don't fucking know me. I bet we were beautiful, you know, Satan. The way you like to run that fucking ass around in Kentucky, you better keep your fucking shut up. You ain't a nasty ass sister, right? There you go. Right. There you go. Uh-oh, right. she said it. I got to take a okay, sip of beer. Two pieces of fucking shit. You're a couple pieces of fucking shit. You suck anybody's fucking ass for the dog. Anybody's ass for a dog. 
for some You would turn on God himself if, 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 if it would bring you some money. You're the type of people, if you're a teacher, it would be the money. Not for the right? for the there you go. And that is the truth. If I've ever told it, that is the fucking truth right there. Well, well, you all the time. <clears throat> That's what you do. Yeah, really you is. waddle in the mud constantly. You go around trying to beat people down constantly to make yourself feel better. Well, if I look like you, I might have to do that too. But I, don't. <laughs> I absolutely don't. Stick at me, okay? Look at you guys laughing now. That's great. Look at you guys laughing now. That's rich coming from you, girlfriend. That should really it is. Oh, you need to clip that, Daisy. I need to get Tragedy Pimps that one. That part. That was a good one. Now you were talking and putting people down. She's the queen of putting people down. Play it again, Sam. That was good. That was good. Again, well, there's more because she she, she, threatens <laughs> to get her, she threatens to get her family involved in hurting us. She that's what she threatened like, her family. Oh well, I'm a Native saying, American like, and I have family all over the United States of America. Girlfriend, she Indian. I'm sure there's plenty of room up there. Here we go. And I'm over six. And you can stick that chubby up your fucking ass too, Jinky. Yeah, well, you can stick that little motherfucker up your ass. Do you think somebody's worried or afraid of that fucking scoundrel? Really? It's ground looking fucking mutt. You got me dead. You no, you got me fucking dead. You're not. Just a backside of PG's fucking ass. And it wouldn't be an all day job like if somebody Ew. was kissing you. Or... That would be a oh, fucking right. sight. Wrinkly old ass. Yeah. Here's another one of her words. I'm words tired of this shit. Let me tell you that right now. I'm so done with it. I ain't done with it. Wrinkly you. Wrinkly you. Wrinkly you. you don't fucking know me. Darling, no, you don't fucking know me. You better back up. Nobody wants your wrinkly ass. Nobody. <laughs> nobody. And tell us what you do, Miss Daisy. Tom PG. Nobody is interested in your ass. Constantly. And your bitch ass sister's telling all her fucking lies. Why? Because she couldn't get build her channel off of your booming ass fucking shit. She's better looking than you and you're jealous. Off of G's fucking channel, right? And I don't know who your fucking Billy Ray is, GG's, but you can stick him up your fucking ass too, okay? I think everybody's going up the ass. She must really love that. I mean, she really does. She she threatened a lot. I don't know no So why don't you shut the fuck up? Quit putting these people out here that we don't even know. You're picking on innocent victims. You're picking on innocent victims. Why would you do that? Why would you pick on somebody's mother? Somebody's brother? Maybe their dad. You're fucking disgusting. You're just fucking fat, overhead, disgusting. Right. I mean, they got a fucking body. They got a damn. I'm I'm dude, they got a damn They got all these fuck now with a Billy Ryan and a fucking uh, Billy and all kinds of weirdos. <laughs> a fucking Frankie. Come on. You guys are weird. 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 You don't go back about you go and Janky. Oh my God! Oh, yeah. You know she what said that? the victim over there one day. Yeah. She told us like we were picking on her. We yeah. were the ones picking on her. She yeah, is the victim. This that. woman is. This woman is she a narcissist. Life. This is this uh -huh. retaliation from all the crap that she's done. She's the one that uh -huh. made all those memes and everything. You didn't do that. She I know. Did. She started this, and even when she said about Cher, she said to Cher, "You look like the nightmare before Christmas." I mean, look at her. She's, just a, she's constantly putting people that, down. That looks like the damn ghost of freaking Christmas. You know what it is? It's that voice and that hate that makes her so much uglier. It yeah. makes her really ugly. Yeah. Her attitude. She doesn't like it if you agree with her. Right. 
because she can't but yeah it's bad y'all it's she bad she puts everyone she down i heard her say things about so many people she said things about wisconsin mama i heard her say things about i i think just about every woman in the true crime community right yeah well I, for i'll say no, one thing I'm, not it's not got nothing about summer tagged to it nothing nothing Nothing. Nothing about summer. How, why would you tag a child in the title of that mess? Exactly. Whenever you're on there cussing out her parents, cussing out everybody right. else in the, in the true crime community, they're all cussing out her summer. parents. I know. Exactly. She's just vile. She and is just vile. I hope Don stays, stays, stays away from there. No, it's right up the butt. Nothing good can come <laughs> from there for Candace and Don. <laughs> Nothing. I love her. Uh, yeah. ass, you know what? You want to put it up your ass, Miss Daisy? I uh, think her favorite song is. Oh, she'll that, hate that, us today. That, that, Eddie, that oh. Eddie Murphy song, you know, put a uh, put a rubber plant in your butt, put a little rubber man in your butt, in your butt. Man, in your butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That song for I ladies. Big, <laughs> that big nose on Justice on the thumbnail with him poop underneath it because he's sniffing prayer gardens, but. <laughs> oh. oh, he's so far up her that butt. It's fucking it's hilarious. No, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm... Can you imagine what they're going to talk about when they hear all this stuff? We, we, uh, she's probably going to say, I'm ugly and fat, but you know what? Oh, I've got a husband that loves me and he's husband, very hot. You know what? We My all husband's have husbands hot. that love us. But my yeah, husband loves me. <laughs> I can't uh, got, even get one. <laughs> I got, I got some last night. She ain't got nothing. <laughs> my husband loves my she big loves chunky butt. butt. My husband does too. <laughs> you know the people that go over there in her chat going along with it. I don't even want them in my chat because if they're gonna sit over there and and make fun and and pick on people for their way and and talk vile. Yeah. Support they that, be yeah, in, like, in a part of that. Bad as them by proxy. Well, I don't want that over on my chat. I don't. I've got people that yeah. love me. That's good-hearted. And and most of the people over here, Daisy, are good people. We don't actually look know, for this kind of crap. This crap is something that like made us retaliate because she has dogged, bagged, called you fat, called Jenkins. Dox me constantly doxing yeah. you, making up and jinkies, and yeah. y'all got kids and made up yeah. big fat lies. <laughs> she, I it's know just, one night I sat and counted about 25 lies that she told just on Summer's case. She makes up constantly. Oh, yeah. Well, that's because she's and a how can you, and how can you? Lies. Tag a child, a missing child, then talk so bad about the the mother of that child, That's what the I person said. that gave birth to her. That's what I said, Johnny. I said the same thing. I said, how could she say out of one side of her mouth talk? And this is about Summer, but then talk so terrible about Candace. Yeah, and then she'll, gave talk, birth to and then she'll say, yeah, and then she'll say, and then she said, oh. She said something about Daisy talking about they were poor growing up. And then she was like, Daisy wasn't poor growing up. I know better than that. She didn't move here to so and so and so and so. But Daisy was explaining, you know, that, you know, that their life at one point was one way that they moved somewhere. And so the thing is, is that she really didn't know anything. She was just twisting that, trying to make it be what she wanted it to be. And then, like she always does, she yeah, does that then, all the time. And then she said, "But you know what? She gave, she brought you home from the hospital, didn't she, Daisy? That's what she said. She said she took care of you, didn't she, Daisy? But I'm like, but Summer's mama did those same very things. But you're yeah. condemning." You know, it's like it's shame on Daisy for saying that her parents were poor but did the best they could. But you know, you're sitting there condemning Summer's mama, saying that you know, well, Daisy's mama brought her home from the hospital and she took care of her. Well, but Candace did that for um Summer too. But what you know what it is? What really gets to me? How they talk about Candace? They don't know her life story. 
No, you know, not. her battle with alcohol and drugs. I battled with alcohol and drugs. Told I did so. too, because I was looking for that numb, numbing me out of the memories but, that I'm plagued just, by. Uh, hey, and you uh, know what? Candace probably extreme. had the same oh, feeling as me. <laughs> She Long needed time. an escape, yeah, and drugs and alcohol will give you that. What well, did you hear what she had to go through? She was in a foster home okay. herself. She said, I've been told it all. Yes, she was did. severely abused when she was Johnny, younger, and she told it. it. She I opened up. You know, know, most people that have been abused are very um, kind, and they're you not are. nasty about it. They're right. just, you yeah. know. It's they very know how bad strange, it is that they've and they're through. empathetic because they already know how bad life can be. Right. Yeah, she's very. She so is. that doesn't seem, you know. And that's I awesome. know that, that I know from Candace that is, that hearing a few of her things, she that's went through true. some really hard times. Yeah, she did. Through. She said that she and, was in a you know, who, and Don did too. So. You know, taking drugs and alcohol, I get it. I mean, it's a quick fix. It's a quick escape for a moment. And I yeah. did it myself. And um, I, I'm not in, I'm not in ashamed of it because I beat that. And I'm over 20 years now right. that I don't, you know, take drugs. Yes, so I I've been drink. seven years now, eight this year, and I'm not ashamed of it because God brought me through it. And yeah. he allowed us to go through it for a reason so we could tell yeah. story and help other people. Well, I have not. I, if I drink, I can drink maybe two drinks. And I'm talking about, like, you know, those vodkas with the flavoring? Like a, oh, yeah. You know, it's like drinking a friggin' soft drink. Yeah. Kind I like can drink two of those and freezer. I'm asleep. Yeah. And I'm asleep. I, I yeah. can't drink and drugs I just don't they just don't interest me at all anymore. Never I mean I'm on enough psych free. meds to not I never smoked meet. pot until I was in my twenties. Right. <laughs> it's, it's bad. But guys, I've been on here almost four hours and I have to get up early in the morning. Yeah. And I, I have to go do some stuff for these rescue animals. Oh. Yeah, I've got a new dog, everybody. I don't know if you've seen him, but is it the, um, did you see him? I bought him. I think so. Is he dark? He's like a him. German he's, Shepherd. He's a something. German Shepherd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I saw him. Um, he's a puppy, and they left him chained to a car. He looks like he was hungry. Oh, yeah. he ate, oh, I feed him four or five times a day. Oh, I bet just you little be, bits so yeah. he can put on weight. Um, yeah, stay. He, yeah, He's just a puppy, and they had him chained to a car that was supposed to go for two weeks, and they've been gone for two months. Oh, mm -hmm. no. And they oh. just left him there to die. Oh, no. Yeah, so, I mean, my Thank house you. is a rock now, but. You know what? Well, I can't. I can't. Leave, I can't leave an animal die. I can't do that. No, not at all. Auntie Sherry. All right, everybody. Good night. I love you. Good night. We love, I love you, Yadi. I'll message you tomorrow or whatever, Daisy. I'll see you around. Okay. Sailor, love you. I love Auntie you, Sherry. Yadi. I love you, love you Sherry. Always. Everybody in chat. I love you, Crystal. Love, love you. you. I love, love you, you Sherry. Sherry. I Auntie love Sherry. You. Love you. Yeah. Auntie Sherry, can you, you spend an hour with a dance before we leave? Uh, what would you like? I'll, me? Look, I'll you want play me the to music. dance in honor of Tina Turner's death? Yes, I'll play yeah. the music. You want to dance before we leave? Well, nobody's on here now. Everybody's on here. Come on. Oh, good gosh. Here we go. Come the on. things I do for the friends I have. <laughs> That's right. We all Here need we to go, y'all. Auntie Sherry's going to dance us out, out tonight. <laughs> Come on, Tina Turner. Hit do me it again. In honor of Tina Turner, y'all. In honor of Tina Turner. Rest in peace. That's right. She I'm not with Ike no more. Rolling on the river. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. Are you ready? You got to turn your camera on. Here we go, y'all. There she goes. Good night, everybody. Thank you guys for coming out.
Making sure he's gonna do us a fancy rubber. Just like the street lights lit this town. Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down. Can't be afraid to leave this out. We got this far, don't know how. Thank you.